welcome to my channel and this is your girl sd today i want to share with you how i do cook my stew my chicken stew guys so today i'll be actually taking you through the process i'll be sharing with you how i do prepare my stew and i'll be doing it step by step so i'm going live so i'm going to be doing it live you know how i cook my stew live with you all so if somebody is out there if somebody is out there and the person like want to cook their own stew also and they don't even know how they can go about it they don't even know how they can go about it and they want to cook they can still cook at the same time with me so i'm going to be doing it live with you all okay so we're going to be cooking stew today chicken stew so what i want to share with you right now is, is my ingredients what i'll be using for this video so guys you're going to be seeing i have all these ingredients that i'm going to be using to cook my stew i have ground black pepper i have onions powder you know because of the season right now we use most of this um preserve like ground stuff preserve stuff because of the season you don't actually have the fresh ones so you want to always have like something to substitute with it i have um, powder onions i'm going to be using that to like season my chicken then i also have ground cloves i also have garlic powder here guys i also have garlic powder then i have this our magic we call it it's like a seasoning but we call it magic cube so this one is really coming from africa i was so happy seeing it it's just a rabbit <laughs> this is it i'm going to be using that also then i also have my black white pepper we have i have powder white pepper but it's not as good as the one from africa the one from africa is really like kind of different so i have this one all over from uh, all the way from africa so i'm going to be using this white pepper for my stew also then i also have this i don't really know the english name of it we call it bebe i don't know that's how they call it in africa i don't know the english version of it so then like i said this is not the season yet so i have all like fresh um um, chive that I use like a fresh spice is already cut put in this box so people are really making money out there they can do whatsoever they want to preserve stuff and sell it you know this is a good idea somebody just slice chives and make it into this organic and keep it frozen it's like frozen always when you want to use it you just grab it from your fridge so you can use it all season round we have it so then I also have the blended mix and um, spices we have like um it's, we're gonna say hair blends it's all mixed we have onions that is there we have our desert we have all the mixed celery all the spices all mixed there so i'm gonna be using this too also for my stew then like i also have like a stew tomatoes that you're gonna be using like a canteen tomatoes you always want to mix canteen tomatoes because you want it to be like kind of a lot in africa our mentality then i also have my like i'm also having my fresh tomatoes that is actually coming from my garden you, you want to take a camera closer guys so we are doing it live with you so i also have my fresh tomatoes this is actually coming from my for my garden you know you i harvest it for my garden like when you harvest it during this winter season when it was winter you have to like cut everything so i have to cut them or i also preserve them i put them in my ziplock and put it in my fridge up to this moment i'm still using it so we're going to be blending our tomatoes right now so I'm just showing you all the ingredients that I have. So this is the tomatoes. I just want to put the tomatoes here. I'll get back to you all. So we are doing it live. This is kind of a live video. Teaching how I make my stew, prepare my stew, guys. So we are doing this live video together. Okay. So another thing we're going to be using in our stew, we're going to be using ginger. You can see ginger. We also have garlic. Then we have onions that we're going to be using. We also have our pepe they call it rice habanero whatever i don't know how to pronounce it pepe so we're gonna be using it i have it here then we have a whole chicken that's it a whole hen chicken guys can you see this this is it i like roasting my chicken before i prepare it you know i just want to have that roasted thing you know when you cook this to you roast the chicken before you prepare it it's so good so i like roasting it so i roast it a bit so that i can burn some of the hair from the skin then i can also have the flavor that that smell that smell you know so that's how i do my i roast it a little bit sorry i must get burned because i wasn't really around so that is it for the stew then we'll be also making a um, ripe plantain we're going to be finding ripe plantain also and we're going to also be making roasted fish when you see i'm going to be doing this also i already fixed my roasted fish 
I have all the seasoning for that. We're going to be doing that. I have a lot of spices that you can always use. When I bring out my drawer, you can see I got a lot of spices, guys. I got a lot of spices. You can see I got a lot of spices like this. And I put it down all spices on this other angle, spices. And this is not just it. Mm -hmm. This is not just it. When I shift my phone to this side, the whole section is full of spices. Guys. <laughs> so I have also a lot of spices here that we're going to be using. We are cooking live. This is just a live video. I'm doing it live with you all. Okay. We also have a lot of spices, like I said. These are all spices when I want to make cake, like all like dessert stuff. I can only grab them here. Then these are all like all the spices. You can see the drawers full of spices. Full of spices, <laughs> full of spices, guys. <laughs> Everywhere is full of spices. I don't joke because I season my food very well. <laughs> At times, they usually say white people don't know how to season. My husband will be loving, like, because we have them. We have a lot of seasoning here. So today, we're going to be cooking our chicken stew. Then, we're also going to be making um, um, roasted fish. So we're gonna be doing that all together. So today I'm cooking. Welcome to my kitchen. It's just welcome to my kitchen and let's cook together. Let me try to get some people, like share it with some of my friends that want to see how I cook. They said they miss my cooking. So I'm gonna be sharing it with them on share this video to Facebook. Okay, so I have to be sharing it on my facebook feed so that okay we'll be sharing it to my group okay we can get started so like i said it we're gonna be cooking together we're gonna be making like chicken stew we have a lot we're gonna be cooking also the same time we're gonna be making roasted fish so we are doing this together i like i said we're gonna be starting with our chicken so now some people don't even know how to butcher chicken they have never seen live way to butcher chicken so i'm gonna be butchering this chicken with you all i'm gonna be behaving like a sh like a, how do you call it um <laughs> butcher yeah so we're gonna start by cutting this section the legs Guys, the tights or whatever. Okay. My husband said this is actually hen because um, the other type of chicken is not like doesn't it, it doesn't have any taste. So I wanted hen. So he went and bought me this one. So I'm be cooking today with you all. So we're gonna cut our chicken. Mm. Some people don't even know how to cut chicken yet. Mm. <laughs> so I got this one cut. It's kind of too big, so I don't really want it to be too big in the bottom. Now. Cut it again. Let me put it there. So we have curly bushel in our chicken. We're gonna go to the other side. So I'm doing it live, no? No editing. Any error, it's gonna be out there. <laughs> so welcome to my channel. Cooking with Essie today, guys. We're gonna be cooking chicken. Chicken. You see how I'm bushering this stuff? Am I not a busher? You wanna tell me I'm not a busher? Okay. 
okay so let's do this here we go oh that is a job guys I missed it too. Do not grab it. Up. I said it. I know it. It's supposed to be around here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I said, it's too big. I really want to chop it small. You want to leave this one like that. I have it roasted already. Wow. It's really big. So now the next thing you want to do, you want to remove this part. Mm. Okay. So we're gonna push it like this. Chop it like this, guys. Anybody that want to cook, like I'm gonna be signaling, like, like given the food I'm gonna be preparing, like any day I want to come live, I'm going to be like saying that today we're gonna to cook like it's chicken stew. Okay, we're gonna cook it. We are gonna be doing vegetable, okonobo. I'm I'm doing mostly African dishes, okay? Mostly African dishes, my recipe. So I'm gonna write the name of the food that we're gonna be cooking or an African dish that we're gonna be preparing that day. Then everybody that wants to prepare also food that day, we're gonna be like kind of putting the time that we're going to cook that food. So when we put the time, we can all start doing it at the same time. Some people want to prepare the food they don't know, so they can go live with me, also prepare their own food in their own direction. No? So this is what I'm doing right now. It's not easy. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're gonna be cutting our chicken. I'm gonna remove this other spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Busha. We're gonna go with this other part of the hand. Busha. I don't know who is watching. Who is watching? Drop your comment. Drop your comment. Let me know who is watching. I don't, I, I'm not, it's not like I'm talking to myself alone. Let me know who is watching cooking with Esty today. You know, in my channel, I do everything. I do share my recipe. I do beauty. Like, show you how to pay, do your makeup. How you can actually braid your hair. Because I do braid my hair by myself. Um, then in my channel also, I also teach you fashion. How like you can dress, how you can blend your clothes. You know, I also alter my dresses when I purchase a, anything like... I can alter it to my taste, so I do do that. All those are just like extra gifts, not like you study them or whatever. It's just like gifts. <laughs> so you see, this one is all full of bone. But that's why we, you want to go with hand because it's nice. You don't want the type of chicken that is not strong. You prepare something, it's not, it's not having taste, it's just bled. <laughs> Guys, are you all there? We butcher this thing together. It's very wide, right? I have a very big knife that I got, but I don't want to use it. I'll chop it with this one. Are you guys there? If you're there, drop a comment, guys. Let me know you're watching. So right now, we are actually butchering our chicken into pieces before we can actually cook it yeah this is actually hen if it's the other type if you just look at stupid chicken here they have that is not the way you cook it prepares too it's not even taste there is no taste because the meat itself is not strong or fertilizer chicken and now with this one you can see it's really strong which means this is the actual one so i have it chopped in pieces Okay, we got this chop in pieces. Oh. Mm. This is chicken stew. I prepare my chicken stew, guys. 
my African version, my own version, my version my mom taught me. My mom taught me how to cook this. This is a recipe I grew up with it. And you know when you prepare your stew, hmm, we were having like I'm gonna be talking like giving you some story why doing my live video on how I want to cook my chicken stew and um, roasted fish. So we're gonna be like narrating some story. When I was a little girl growing up in my country, Africa, Mamfi precisely. So my mom was having a restaurant. So any ho every holiday, she would want us to like kind of do something. See, she has a restaurant and she already taught us how to cook. So she would tell you what food you want, what dish are you going to cook and sell. So you have to go and sell out of the house. You're not in the restaurant. You have to like carry it and walk around with it, you know. So she would ask us what meal do you want to cook. Are you going to cook stew? She just asked us and my like sibling, the people, the, my sibling, my the people I grew up with. So when she asked us, at time I would choose like stew, at time I cook like, I usually choose two meals, not just one. I usually choose like chicken stew and chicken, it's so stew, it must not necessarily be chicken. It might have any, you can use whatever as a protein. So for this, you can use like fish stew, beef stew, like cow beef or chicken stew. So it all depends what you really want. So then I usually go with rice and stew. Then I also choose like ego, you no. Know? Ego is like my traditional meat. So many people love ego. So I usually cook that also to sell. So when I prepare this meat, when we take it out to go and say there was a my mom doesn't really want us to really go and be really hopping because she really always wants to know where we are, you know. She really wants to know where we are. So she doesn't really want us to really go and the hawking, but she wants us to do something during the holiday period. She doesn't want us to lie idle in the house, no. She wants you to do something that you can raise some money for yourself, like kind of teach, training us to be independent by ourselves so, as a young girl, very young girl. So she will go and look for like she she herself will go and look for areas, areas that you like a public area that you can actually sit in that position, a particular position, and be like selling. In that particular position so there was a restaurant in that there was a restaurant where my mom went and looked for so that can be selling like be cooking there so these people in that rest they opened their restaurant around they were they were always open their restaurant let me say around like noon 12 so they opened their restaurant at 12 so the people don't want me to be there before 12 around 12 you have to they don't want you to they don't want any competition because if i'm have to be cooking the app be selling in that position i'm not like kind of selling in, in the restaurant itself i just i was selling outside the restaurant like in front of the restaurant there was like a i was selling outside the restaurant that's it so we just put like a little shit in front of the restaurant and since people know that that's a restaurant people come to eat there and we really do cook well we really do cook well also so I will prepare my food I put there so people know that I'm preparing food. And that's my, I'm the one cooking that meal. It's not like it's my mom. I'm the one, that's my own duty. What I have to do, my activities I was doing during the holiday period. So I'm going to be in that, um, I have to be there to cook. Luckily, like I said, we do cook where people really appreciate my recipe, our mom recipe. So people usually come to eat in my restaurant and they love my mom recipe. So when you know that I'm preparing I'm selling in that position, position, that location. So people always come there to to eat. They'll come there to eat. And like I said, luckily, I don't usually stay up to 12 o'clock. Like I said, this lady doesn't want you to be dead because it's kind of like taking her customer. Like, they are taking her customer. She doesn't want that competition. She doesn't want people to be coming to you. If she, at times I cook a lot. I don't need to cook a lot of meals to sell. But at times I will prepare a lot of meal, a lot. So when you cook a lot, you know you're gonna take a longer period for you. It's not just around twelve that everything will be finished. So because of because I cook a lot, so I have to be there at time up to one o'clock. So when she comes, I'm there. This lady will be mad. Seriously, this lady will be mad because I'm taking a client. People will come to eat. They can go to eat in her restaurant, but they will not. They will branch back to my rest to my little chef to eat because they love our dish you know 
they love my dish, so they'll burn with my restaurant to eat. Unless my food is finished, that's when they will start going to this restaurant. So this lady was mad. I, like I'm telling you, I don't know why she was even mad because my mom did not just come to start selling in that position. She asked for permission from them. So they, they allow her to, they said, okay, you can allow her to come and be selling. So now, that is, is like I said, she has permission before me selling in that particular location. But you know, people are always just jealous, you know? They are always just jealous, sorry. People are always just jealous. So even if they ask, they'll say, yes, do this, then you are doing it now, you are doing good, they'll become jealous, you know? So this woman was always mad. So I will prepare like rice and stew, and it will do very well. People will buy this food. I can't even sit up on this food, they will eat it. And like they'll be like, what is it the mom that cooked? They were like, they, they like teasing me, you know. The guys are always come and uh, eat in my little shirt. They like teasing me. Are you sure you're the one that prepared this food? Or is your mom? You're so young to prepare this food. I said, yes, I'm young, but my mom taught us how to do this, so I'm doing this. is mine. They said, no, it's not you. I said, it's mine. <laughs> like I said, I, I, I saw food during holiday period and I was having a lot of money. And my mom was doing when you say like that, it's not like she's taking the money to do anything. During that holiday period, she when school resumed, she would like the new academic year, she would tell you guys to buy whatever you want to purchase with the money that you make from your holiday activity. So I always have money because people purchase my food. So I was doing great. So that's why I just love cooking. I like I started cooking in my tender age, you know. My mom trained us how to do that. So that's why I like cooking. And when I cook, people eat, they appreciate it. They really do appreciate it. Even when I go to my brother's house, <laughs> like on holidays, their wife, they will just abandon their kitchen to me. They just abandon, they say, you have come, take over the kitchen. You know, you know some of your, if you, some, of, some of us have like our brothers, our brothers' wives, they, they are not happy when you are around their house because they don't want you to take over the kitchen or whatever. But my, it's the contrary with me. My brother's wives, they all love me. When I go to their house, they just abandon their kitchen to me. <laughs> they abandon their kitchen. They say, welcome, and you take over. <laughs> because they know I love it, you know. I love cooking. It's a passion. I go with it, and it's a passion. So I'm going to cook here. I have to do it very fast because I want my husband to come and let him do something. So now see what I'm doing. I'm like kind of... I have this fresh tomato that I have from my garden, like I said. It was kind of actually um, preserved, this one, fresh tomatoes. I put it in my freezer because I preserve it. So now I'm just, just the tomatoes, fresh tomatoes that is here. So I'm going to be slicing a whole bowl of onions, you can see, a whole bowl of onions. I dump them inside there. Then I'm going to use also ginger. I'm going to use also ginger and fix it, like peel it and also dump it there to blend. But before doing that, you want to make sure that the chicken that I slice, you can see, I have a sliced chicken that's already like sliced. I already butchered the chicken. I'm going to wash this chicken seasoning. So to season my chicken, I'm going to be using all this powder stuff, the powder ingredients that I already like share with you guys. You want to see? I'm going to be sharing. I'm going to be using all this powder seasoning. Yes, all this powder seasoning. I'm going to be using some little cloth. I'm going to be using onions powder. I'm going to be using black pepper also and uh, garlic powder. So this is what I'm going to use to season this meat before I can. And I'm going to drop also one pepper inside. So what you want to do right now, I have to wash it, okay? I have to wash it. So I'm going to be taking this to my sink. So my sink, at least you know how to wash chicken. I'm not going to be sharing with you how you wash chicken. So I'll take it to my sink. Guys, when I'm done from watching this, we're going to continue with our story, okay? I'm going to continue telling story, 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 story. Oh my God, I need some. Yeah. Okay. I don't know who is watching. I have one person watching my channel, but I don't know the person because I am not clicking the area to see who is actually watching. You want to like kind of drop a comment and like introduce yourself. Like let me know who is watching today. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I have my chicken like already washed. This is the chicken already washed. So I'm gonna be using this. I love this pot. I like to cook here. So I'm gonna put it here. I don't want I'm gonna be picking the chicken one after the other to put inside the pot, guys. Where is washing? I got somebody washing. Where is washing? You wanna do like like I'm washing, you wanna tell me where you are so that when I will be done, I have time to go through the comment section or go through my video. I'll actually know where it's washing. So we have the chicken put there. So we're gonna be seasoning this chicken guys. We are going to season it right now. I have my one of my seasoning that I really love. We don't have the we do have it, I cannot say we don't have it. We have Maggie here. Popular seasoning that we use in Africa is called Maggie. That's what we use in my country, Cameroon precisely. I don't want to generalize it, like you say Africa, like a whole. I just want to I also have my Cameroon pepper. Let me grab that. Sorry guys. I did not grab everything out. Hmm, actually we are doing the live video though. It's not like I have to bring all the ingredients out before doing it. It's not like it's live. It's live. <laughs> my live video we do, oh, Abby. Oh, we're not in a live video. Okay. I have this like Cameroon pepper, you see. Cameroon pepper. So it's hot. I love it. So I'm gonna use this pepper. Measure it here. My hand is my measurement, guys. So I'm not be telling you. Season it to your taste. So oh, I have gonna take this quantity. I put it inside my chicken. I want to parboil the chicken. That's what I'm trying to do right now. So grab the chicken back there. So we have bouillon. Like I said, this is actually what we use to season. This one, Maggie cube. So I'm just gonna grab one. I like to use the bouillon because it's just like it tastes. That's what they use here. A lot of people have it. So chicken flavor bouillon. So we're gonna be using this one. But I'm blending everything, like I said. I like blending. Like I'm gonna open one cube of Maggie cube. Just one cube. Then I like shred it on it. Then we take the bouillon. My hand is my measurement, guys. So I'm seasoning it. My hand is my measurement. So I'm gonna put a pinch of salt there. So we're gonna be going with a pinch of salt also. I don't want much salt. I usually like bouillon rather than too much salt because it's already like salty though. So that one should be enough. Then we're gonna slice. Oh, sorry. How did I do like that? We're gonna dice some onions and drop them there. So we're gonna dice some onions. You even actually seen how I'm dicing? Okay, so we chop it. I like washing my hand every two sticks on because that's just me. I waste what I love when I'm in the kitchen. Okay, then I have some tissue that I'm gonna be using to wipe my hand. So we're gonna be putting onions powder also in the chicken. That's enough. I also have a little bit of grand cloths. I like to put it also when I'm like seasoning my chicken. So we're gonna put some there. Not not much. Don't wanna put much. I also have like um, onions powder. What did I put here? Okay, this was garlic powder. Okay, so we're gonna be going now with onions powder. Already have fresh onions there, so I just want to put some onions powder, guys. So we're also gonna be going with some black pepper, ground black pepper. Okay, that is it. Then, like I said, I have my pepper. I'm gonna be dropping one. Fresh pepper also there. Remember, we already seasoned this, so I'm going to just gonna put everything like this. Transfer it to the gas tank. You know? Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Okay, guys, so we're gonna be cooking. Okay, I got the right side. The right burner! So this is the chicken, so you wanna make sure that it's tasty. Because this chicken is kind of like hen, it's hen. It's a little bit stronger, so this one is more test, tasty than the other one, you know? So you're gonna, it tastes more better than the, the chicken we just buy in the shops. Yeah, it's not strong, they're not tasty. You know, it's like tasteless. You cook your stew, you still have no taste, it's kind of bled. I was really mad, so I was complaining. Like, you want to cook your stew, your stew is not like nice because uh, the chicken is like just flat. So when I said it, my husband went and grabbed me a whole hen. He said that that should be hen. I need to have the hen. So he said those are all layers, kind of something like hen. And this one is really pretty much good. So that's why you saw me like bush having the stuff. So now we're just going to cover it and let it season and let it steam for some why why are we gonna be blending our tomatoes guys so now we're gonna blend tomatoes peel our ginger garlic and what not so okay so and if everybody know how to do this we are just going live so while doing it we're gonna be continuing with our story storytelling no you don't just want to be cooking like doing long live video you don't have something to entertain your viewers so i have a lot of story that i can always share though you know some of them i don't like to share that just kind of personal but majority of them i like to share some of the story okay so that is how i learned how that's that's how like i said the other one about me having uh, a little activity like a little something like i said like a job <laughs> something i was doing during holiday period like cooking and having restaurant my own private restaurant like outside that's what i that's where i started cooking like like that's how i grew up so what i was doing that encouraged me to love cooking so i grew up cooking my mom did not just like we were trained how to cook and like i said we don't just cook some people cook like cook people eat but your food is not nice right it might be nice in your mouth but it's not nice but when i said and i cook <laughs> my friends love to eat my food so I know what I can do. So we're gonna be going towards our. I have to peel our garlic after this ginger because we want to blend our spices, you know. So, so guys, we're gonna continue with our discussion. So, what else would I tell you all? What other discussion would I tell you? Okay, I want to tell you what happened in America. You're right. Behind my door, behind my door, that's the behind my house. I saw deer. Can you imagine? It's so close. Can you see deer in Africa like that close to your house? No, you cannot. But I saw deer closer to my house. It's like these animals are just walking like they are your mates. You know, something that we eat in Africa. <laughs> That's the whole meat <laughs> that we eat in Africa. But yeah, I saw these deer just walking around. I just woke up this morning. I tried to open my door. Behind, there were two deer. I don't even know how to call them. My husband, he should be the one to know their name. I was like saying, this is deer. He said, yeah, this is a particular type of deer. It has like a white tail. He called the name of the deer. I can't remember the name because I don't even know. I just know they are called J. So he told me the type of J. It was having a white tea. So I have a video that I mean like I kind of video tape there. So when I started calling you know, they, they realized uh, my signal, they run away. Oh guy, why is it calling me now? I'm doing my cooking with Esty. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm. Yo, you, you you bought the stuff already? You bought the two stuff already? No, another table. What table is that? Okay. What glass table? Okay. I'm cooking and I'm making my live video on YouTube. Yeah, I'm in the kitchen. Let him when he comes out. Uh, uh, okay, I'm in the kitchen. Trying to cook my chicken stew. Okay. See you later. Okay. You're still on. You're not hung up your phone. Hang up, man. <laughs> You have not hung up. I'm hanging up. So 
So guys, sorry for the interruption. That is how when live video is going, I'm showing you everything live, right? <laughs> okay, guys. So when I saw those two deer, I like was, oh my god, do you know this is meat in Africa? You don't just see animals like that. We know we live in Africa. Some of you guys here, you always say when you hear about Africa, it's just like we are living with animals. It's just like you are the one who is living with animals. You this um, Western world. It's like you are the one living with animals even. Because it's I, it's really strange for us to just walk up and just see animals in front of our house or behind of our house running. We'll kill you and eat you. So they can never come around. They're always far away from there, like in the forest, you know. But when you go to the forest, that's when you're gonna be seeing like things like deer. It's not like you sitting in your house and there is deer comfortably walking around because they are like kind of protected. And they are protected here, you know. They protect wildlife here. That's why it's so common. Instead, yeah, this is where we see them. But on the irony, they usually said in Africa, it's just like we sleep with animals, we climb on the trees with animals, like lions and shot. Push. What an irony, guys. Well, that's the contrary, guys. We don't see that. I just saw they eat here. I was like, this is my first time even see. Seeing deer is in the United States, like live deer. I was, if I, I saw deer only when it's dead, you know, you know when they, not like live deer. My first time seeing that is in the United States. Here. Is it in the United States that I saw deer? So, but when I make a little sound, they started running. I have the video, they were so cute. I'm going to share that video on my Facebook page now. It was so cute. I love it. I said, oh, this is new. And you know how much this one costs in Africa? <laughs> bush meat. We call them bush meat because you have to dry it. We call them bush meat. Fresh bush meat. <laughs> oh my God. So guys, actually what I'm doing now is peeling my garlic and ginger. So that I can blend them with my fresh tomatoes. Uh, that's actually what I'm doing. Remember, we have our chicken, our seasoned chicken. My gas turn, I'm trying to steam it. Remember, that is, it's there. Okay. I love to have a lot of ginger in my soup. I'm gonna leave this other one. I will use it to make my pepper for the fish, roasted fish. So I'm gonna use that for the pepper. Okay, guys. So we have that already ready. I'm gonna put a lot of pepper in it. This one is not actually too hot. Sorry, I already washed my stuff before I put them in my fridge. So I'm gonna put a lot. It's not hot, it's just a flavor. Not hot. It's just it's not really it's not hot at all, you know. Oh my god, I won't put a lot because sorry, I know it's not hot, but I put the dry pepper in my um dry pepper in my chicken. When trying to steam it, so I have to have to substitute. Then we're gonna add also this um, blended. I'm going to be adding this blended herbs. Like when they call it blended herbs, it's just our basil, garlic, and celery, all the mixture. You know, that's what is there. So I'm gonna blend this. The other ones I will not blend. I'll just throw it inside. Let's do. Fine. Mm -hmm. so I'll it. Put this stuff on the trash in front of you. I'm going to clear your way before you can continue. Blend our tomatoes. 
Oh, I'm sorry, you done that so well, I'm just looking stress. Okay, we got it. We're gonna blend my fingers. He will shout. We have a can opener to open this, but you know, African girl, she's local. She likes doing like this, so I knock it. My husband will be like, "What the heck is that? Get on yourself!" I said, "No." So go up like this, doing it. So we just have we just open our tomatoes with like this. We just be going, just be going one and one, just be going one and one, guys. Say no, don't do it. Just doing like this look uh not put in there. This is kind of see fresh tomato. I hope this one is not sour. The sour and the spoil my food too. Because all the tomatoes from America is sour sour. So it's gonna be okay like that. Okay, guys. So you wanna see the chicken? Chicken stew. Boil it. I remember I did not put any water when I washed the chicken, there was already water there. So I'm just gonna use the water that comes out from the chicken to like steam it, and I'm gonna use it at my stock, you know, for the stew. Even though they claim this one is a little bit harder, still, yet it's not so strong like the one we have in Africa, you know, it's not still like kind of really hard chicken. For me, it's not even kind of really strong. The better. You just like kind of mix it. You want the seasoning to actually mix with your actually trying to mix it together. You know, see the stock is so good. It's not, it's not good. <laughs> There's my chicken stew, guys. This is just it. I'm gonna allow it to cook. Why is cooking like I'm still steaming this? I'm gonna be like trying to fry my tomatoes on the other side of the burner. See how I taste it. African way we do it like this. Put it here. Try to taste the seasoning. Wow. I've not even cooked my stew yet. Just steamed chicken. It's nice like this. Guys! Oh my god! When you know, you know. So now I'm going to be putting this camera like this because we're going to be using this other burner to cook actually this stew while we like going to start frying my tomatoes. So I'm going to be taking another I don't know if this one is actually small. So guys, we're gonna be frying our tomatoes here. Why the chicken is actually like we are boiling or steaming our chicken in this other direction? So 
so now we're gonna start here so what i want to do like i'm using the vegetable oil You can use pretty much whatever oil you want to use. I'm using the pure vegetable oil to actually prepare my stew. So we're gonna be putting, I have to put my burner on. Okay, so it's actually on. So you wanna put your pure, you can, what if, some people they use granite oil and whatever, but I just use pure vegetable oil, that's what I use. So you can see my pot is actually an empty pot. I can just turn it on my gas burner. So we're gonna be putting some oil. I don't put a lot of oil because chicken already have a lot of oil. You know, it comes out with chicken with oil. So I don't like use that fat. So I just want to put like a little bit like that. That's enough. I'm gonna use that to fry my chicken. Ah. So guys, you allow it to go a little bit. Why I'm dicing the uh, onions I'm going to be using. That's how I fry my own stew. That's how I do my stew. Cook stew. My chicken stew. That's just... It's not really difficult. And it really tastes. Some people cook stew, it's like blur. So I'm going to be blending... um. Like I said, we call this in Africa, like I don't know the speaking from Little Pigeon English here. We call this stuff bebe. Like I said, I don't know the English version of it. I want to do my research though. So I'm going to be using like three. This one. You seen this? Come on, it's a little bit blurred. Okay, are you seeing this? This? I'm going to peel it. Then blend it. I'm going to be blending it with this white pepper. This one is from Africa, like it's really nice more than this other white pepper that they have here. I'm trying to crack it open because you have to crack it open. To take the knot inside, there's a knot inside, so that, that's what we really want. It's not a shell. So you can see, like I said, this is it. This is actually a knot. No, this is the this is actually what we call baby. I put it in my stew, so it's nice. Do you want to crack it? You can see the shell. When I crack it, there's a shell that comes out. Then this is what you want. This little this what you you want is what is inside the knot. So, I'm going to crack this also. Peel it open like this. You can see, I'm trying to bring out the knot from it. So, I grab the knot. This is the knot. So, I'm grabbing the knot. So, I have three knots. Then, this is the shell. You're gonna throw the shell away and you want to use the knot. So I'm gonna bring the camera back here to actually show you what I'm doing. I'm trying to blend it in my dry blender. Yes, yeah, this is where I'm gonna be blending it. This coffee grana, though I use it for coffee also. But I still blend my dry spices there. I have all the spices actually, some of them blend, but I like fresh one from Africa to use this one. So I'm gonna be putting my white pepper there. Oh how sure little white pepper on it. This is what I'm gonna be putting there. So I put three knots of bebe white pepper. Hold on I'm calling that. I just want to charge your phone. I realized that I did not even charge my phone. You know, I was doing my live video today how to cook. I did not plan it though. 
it's okay. I just want to be sharing it when I'm doing some sh cooking some African dishes. Just want to be sharing my recipe with you all. Live video, like doing live video. So this is what we have. I'm gonna blend it. Ooh. Remember, I have my oil that I put. I almost forgot this. This is how when you cook in the kitchen, you are not attentive. You're gonna like burn your kitchen down. So I'm going to put onion inside. You see? So I'm actually frying the onion. That's how I cook my food, guys. Like I said, you left. I actually cook my food. They want to season it a little bit because you don't want your onions to just be like that. So you just want to drop some seasoning inside. in Africa that sort of pass so you don't want to I don't cook with measurement my house is my measurement I don't like put one spoon of this two spoon of that my house is my measurement I already know when I cook any quantity I know this quantity can be enough so that is it I'm blending I'm cooking I'm trying to cook the stew on the other side why I'm like steaming my chicken so it's the hard chicken it's not like kind of a soft chicken now want to make sure that you're attentive you don't like allow one thing to burn you know cover it back Okay guys, maybe the onions is actually like kind of cooked. So we're gonna be putting in our can you just just the same? Wow! Like then this is about blended tomatoes, you can see food blend tomatoes. Right. a little bit of water here because I want to rinse out the tomato paste. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm just going to pour it inside like I'm cooked together. Wow, my, my heart is doing smelling so good. That's the, the scent. <laughs> so good, you know. So now I'm just going to be allowing this tomato uh, paste to be cooking. Let me show you. I want to bring the I'm going to bring the camera closer so that you can actually see what is inside there. Where is it? This is the tomato paste. So we're going to allow it to cook. We're just going to be stirring it. At the same time, we are the chicken is cooking there, so that's it. Just going to allow this. Why this is will be cooking, guys? 
I am going to be like seasoning my my fish, the one I want to roast. Okay guys, why the tomato stew is cooking? We're gonna be turning the camera towards this direction because I want us to actually season our fish, the roasted fish that I'm gonna be roasting. So what we have to be we're gonna be doing now, and then anything I'm done with I just shift it aside. Okay, why I'm doing that? Like I'm kind of multitasking myself, you know, you know. Like I said, I'm kind of multitasking myself. I already have foam. Um, I already have my chicken in the um, chicken in the gas tank cooking, trying to steam it, and I'm also like frying my tomatoes on the other side to cook the stew. Uh, I'm gonna be making sure that I remember to stir it because you don't want it to get burnt though. So you want to make sure that you keep on stirring it every after three to five minutes. You have to stir it around so that it doesn't get burnt. And you also want to make sure that you check on your chicken, the chicken that you're steaming to see how it's green. Wow, gonna be good. My husband will kill himself. Killing this right now. Man. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be seasoning this. So for us to do that, like I said, I always have my regular bouillon, guys. So I'm going to be using this as my seasoning. I already have salt when I was like, kind of like trying to fix the fish so there is already salt there so now i just use just my bouillon to actually season my fish push you have to be careful no bone but you don't like place your hand mm, don't want to put too much so. so i open the inside part of it just so like this like this guys and I use my hand to like rub it, like I rub it, like I'm massaging the fish. <laughs> oh my god! You like want to make it go inside, like deeply, you know, like you don't want to make it go inside. So I season my fish like that. It's like. Yeah. See, over the fish. Open the gills. I really open the gills of the fish, right? <laughs> Try to season all this area. We really want it season. Even the fin. Also, I even touched the fin of the fish. Hi. <laughs> That's why you have to be careful, guys. You don't want to like a lot of stuff to pierce you. you. Don't want them to pierce you. Fine. <sighs> 
and say this one is always seasoned. I have old seasoning that I usually rub there, but today I, want, I just want it to be plain, you know. I'm not going to put in those old those other spices that I usually put. So I'm just going to make it with dry spices, like I want it plain. All I really want, you just want the um, spices to enter into the fish so that it can taste well. Just the seasoning, the bouillon seasoning is pretty much good. Then I'm just going to make my green spices and my hot pepper on the side, you know. I'm not going to put them to all of the fish because I'm not going to waste well the fish. Um, I'm going to waste the fish through my oven. So guys, I like to put um, cloth on my fish. Powder cloth. So I'm gonna be dropping them here. But you don't want much. I make it like this and I have to turn it also on both sides. That's it. Then I'm gonna be putting also my onions powder in my fish guys. For the other part that I don't, I don't bother about that onions. This bridge. Okay. I also open them inside. I don't just want to season them the outside. The fish. Mm -hmm. So I've got the onions. So I'm gonna be putting also my garlic, garlic powder. Wow, my house is smelling good. Just the sticking skewer is already smelling good like that. We're gonna be putting black pepper also. That'll be the last thing. So I'm gonna be turning the camera back to my tomato sauce, guys. Stir it. Like I said, you want to make sure that you always check your tomato sauce every after five minutes or four to five minutes so that you can stir it. It doesn't get burned. You don't want it to burn. Get burned. Good guys in the house right now. The delivery guy who just came. That's why the dogs are bagging. Those my little shivers in this house. They're bagging. <laughs> Are you guys hearing the dogs barking? These are little chihuahua, they are so cute. When they are coming down, I'm going to like show you the guys. The pod, like kind of. Yeah guys! <laughs> Tomato stew. It tastes so good. Like shouting, <laughs> like this is always in the always coming. Or you're coming back to the kitchen to see what I'm doing, guys. Shout them out. Hmm. I do not eat bonto. I like the water is cow girl. So stop your noise. Stop your fucking noise. So I'm just gonna allow 
After you're done seasoning your fish right guys, you just want to allow it for some couple of a um, minute or hour. I, I'm not like leaving mine that long because I already like kind of steam it with salt for about three to four hours. I season it with salt and now I'm just like kind of putting my regular other type of seasoning, you know. Before I blend, I'm just gonna now that I put the other type of seasoning that I already seasoned with you guys, I'm gonna allow it to sit for about 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, then I put it in the oven. That will be it. Remember, I'm doing multitasking. I'm like kind of I'm gonna be cooking rice right now. I don't want a lot of rice, just me. Oga, that's gonna eat. So I'm gonna be boiling a little rice here, like about one cup of rice. Bye. You are you going? Yeah. Bye. I'm in the kitchen. I'm cooking. Okay, like I said, we are actually doing like stew. I'm actually cooking my recipe, cooking stew. You know? At the same time, I'm like kind of doing what it does. I'm roasting fish already, also. So today I decided to.
to make a live video sharing with you how I do cook my chicken stew and also how I do with my fish, you know, at the same time. I'm kind of doing multi cooking at the same time. So people usually say, my mother usually cook multiple food. I also cook multiple food good because I also I was trained by my mom, you know. So today I'm actually teaching you how you can actually cook your stew. Um, so whoosh, you know, when you're cooking stew, you like skipping. So you want to be very careful, you don't want it to burn you, you know, to smash on you, like, you know. Then I also have this, like, you know, yeah, in the United States, if you go to the store to buy, like, chicken, their chickens are not nice, it's so soft, like, kind of fertilizer chicken. So, we went to, I complained, I told my husband, I don't like that chicken, it's not nice, it's like, kind of, it doesn't really taste. So, if he went and bought me, like, a, a hen, it's chicken, this one is a kind of hen, the stronger one. So this is it. I'm like kind of boiling it this way. So I'm actually doing three things right now. So this is what I'm actually doing. I'm going to be turning my camera towards this direction. I'm actually like boiling my chicken just in this direction. This is it. I, I am the one that butchered the chicken myself. You no, know, it was like kind of a full whole chicken. I have to butcher it like a butcher. <laughs> then so it's a little bit like kind of old school. The, why they call it this old layer or something like that. It's hen. My husband says hen. So this is the chicken. I cut it here. Then I'm also like kind of like frying my tomatoes. The tomato sauce on this other section. I don't want this stew to be sour. So I have to cook it a little bit longer and let it be dry, you know. This is the tomato stew I'm like kind of preparing here. Then at the same time I'm like boiling the chicken there. Then I'm gonna be boiling a little bit of rice. You don't want too much rice. So I'm going to be boiling rice here and like I said, I'm doing multitasking at the same time, I'm also roasting fish Yeah, I'm roasting fish, this is it I already seasoned my fish I'm going to be roasting mm -hmm. it's already seasoned you know, so I'm doing all those things together Camera, I don't know why you keep rotating You want a bang back? Okay, this is what I'm actually doing. The girl is cooking. Like when I was cooking my stew, like I'm kind of like kind of doing two videos at the same time on YouTube and also on Facebook. So I already showed people everything, um, the ingredients that I actually used to cook my stew. So before coming live on Facebook, I was already doing a live on my YouTube channel. So in my, with my stew, the spices that I was using, I said the tomatoes is coming actually from my garden. You know, I actually planted the tomatoes last season. So during this winter season, it's kind of like everything becomes frozen, like like spoiled because of winter. So I have to um, harvest my tomatoes and I preserve them in my freezer. So it has been in my freeze for long. This is the tomatoes I'm actually using to cook my stew right now. So when I was cooking my stew, this chicken is already ready. I have to put it off. I don't want it to get burned. So that one will be off right now. So like I said, so I use my tomatoes for my garden to prepare my stew and uh, you know, even though you can see have everything kind of fresh in the in the shop, but I like to have mine preserved. So I plant them, harvest them, and I actually preserve them in my freezer. So anytime I want to use them, it doesn't matter the season, whether it's winter, spring, or whatever season it is, I have the ingredients fresh to use to cook my stew. So now I'm actually preparing my stew for my stew my mom taught me from Africa. And like I said, when I prepare my stew, it's delicious. Everybody that eats my food like confirm that is delicious not just me saying it day you know so today i decided to cook this like i was missing this like whole layer chicken i've been eating chicken that is not like kind of really 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 nice for me so i was really missing it so my husband went and bought me like um the hen this is it's really the stronger one this one so i really like parboil it so now i'm going to take it now and put it inside my stew for it to cook so since I'm doing the live video also on like Facebook and on YouTube, on YouTube I actually started it live with all the ingredients, like kind of like presenting the ingredients to my viewers. So right now I'm doing it also, I decided to go live also on my YouTube, uh, on my Facebook channel. So what you need to know, what I did here is like, I actually put a um, little bit of vegetable oil because I'm actually using but pure vegetable oil this is what i'm using pure vegetable oil you can use whatever oil you want too much calories you don't want to have too much calories so I'm, I'm going with the pure vegetable oil i don't like olive oil you can use olive oil to cook some cook but i don't like olive oil my mother in law loves olive oil i don't like it i don't like the smell of olive oil inside food though 
So I use pure vegetable oil. So now what I did is that I put first of all my pot on the gas pan, I like it to heat for some some seconds, then I decided to pour the olive vegetable pure vegetable oil inside the pot. I do not you don't want to put a lot of oil because you know chicken already have oil, it comes with oil, so you don't want to put a lot of oil. So, unless somebody that really likes to eat oil, but I don't see why you'd be liking to eat a lot of oil. It's not it's not healthy though. So I put a little bit of oil inside the pot just because I don't want it to get burned when I'm frying my tomatoes, guys. Then after that, I slice the whole onions, full onions, and put it inside the vegetable oil. I'm sprinkling it with a little bit of bouillon seasoning, it's like maggi. So or you can put other salt, like you don't want the onions to be a little bit blurry, you want it to be a little bit seasoned. So I put it inside, then I cook the onions for about one minute, just one minute. After I cooked the onions for one minute, I decided to put my blended tomatoes and the blended tomatoes, what did I have there? It was actually tomatoes, onions, the whole onions again, garlic, ginger, um, with this vegetable spices. It's actually, we, we call them fresh spices in Africa, we just said fresh spices, but they all have their name, it's just like a mixed herb. So I have the mixed herb here. We have spring onions, this is actually ch and chai, the other one I used to blend it was actually mixed spices. It's actually spring onions, celery, basil, and you know, you want to use whatever you can have. So now, this is it. The tomato sauce is really dry. It's really actually dry. So I'm going to be tasting my tomato sauce. If it's actually it's sour, sour, or it's okay. So now, I am doing my African way. We put it on our palms like this. <laughs> oh, guys. Then, I taste it. Hmm. It actually looks good. It's not that sour, but it's not ready. So at this point, that is not actually sour. For this time, so we know about sour, right? We go put na wa chicken because wa chicken were actually done na all layer. It's actually strong. So we go put the chicken now inside the stew. So we have to put the chicken now inside the stew. I'll be mixing the language, you know. English is a bowl language. I am speaking pigeon on my dialect, <laughs> just because I want everybody to understand, no. So I'm just gonna be blending it. So now I'm going. We, we want to add our chicken right now inside the the stew. You know, so we're gonna take inside this mantle sauce. So we're gonna be bringing this pot towards this direction, guys. I need to have. A, can you people just shift? You know what? Is the dogs they keep on like moving around? The little chihuahuas that we have in the house. So guys, I'm gonna be taking this chicken. Look at it. This is a chicken. I really like. I like to grill my chicken a little bit before I can actually cook. I grill it to have this like um, this roasted roasted scent. You know, I like to have the roasted scent when I'm cooking my stew. So I grill. I roast. I roast the chicken a little bit before I slice it. See, that's why you're seeing it black. Like it's not. I don't fry it. I am not frying my chicken. I roast it. So now that I roast it. This one is already seasoned so nice. So now we're going to put the chicken inside here. In our tomato sauce, right? So this is what I'm going to do. Don't come there! Don't come there. It's going to taste so good. Oh my god, this sucks. Guys, if I take the chicken now, I'll pour it into my tomatoes. Remember, I just parboil the chicken. And an old layer chicken, we call it, my husband said hen though, that's the old layer because I completed that chicken for here. It's on the street. Their chicken here is are, are just like fertilizer chicken. They don't have any taste, you know? Like shoe. So he said he's gonna give me the right one. So he went and bought this old layer chicken for me because I was really complaining. I said, You wanna cook your stew? You know, everything, but your stew doesn't really taste like the one you prepared at home. I believe it's a chicken, it's a chicken, it's not taste. There is no taste in the chicken. So we got this one. This one is really pretty much good. Huh? So I don't steam the meat. I don't steam all the steaming of the chicken. No. I don't steam chicken dry. So now you can take the chicken. You want to put, take the chicken and put it inside your tomato sauce then. Oh, I wash it. Let me look at people that are washing. I don't just want to be making a video and be talking without like greeting my viewers. Okay, we have somebody washing. That's my maid, actually Betwa. Hi, miss you. Long time. That's my classmate. We also have um Bring them on camera. Bring them on camera. I don't want to bring anybody on camera then. Let me see. Let me go. 
Then we also have, uh, I just want to see who are watching. We also have Della Litombe, something, I don't know who is that. They are my Facebook friends, so I don't know. So now, I don't, you put, you want to put your chicken inside the tomato sauce then. You want to stir them together. I know you, some of you can cook, but not everybody, tomato stew is really nice though. So if you follow my recipe, if you like, <laughs> you follow my recipe, you will like it. I'm cooking like a dry tomato sauce. Oh my god, the water is already boiling for my rice. I want to boil rice. So I'm gonna be boiling like rice with curry, curry way, you know. So I'm gonna be putting curry flavor in that rice. I'm gonna make the rice like a jollof rice. There's not actually I'm not cooking jollof rice. I'm just gonna make it look like. So now you see, you actually want to put the tomatoes. I'm gonna be holding this camera and like kind of actually. Let's go like this, guys. Let's flip the camera towards this direction. Sorry, I'm gonna be wiping it a little bit. The vapor from the smoke. Guys, stop telling me to rotate the camera. It's already rotated. Facebook. Okay, see, this is a stew. You see my tomato stew. So now I go. I will put now this stock that I have. The stock that I have from the chicken. So I will pour it inside my chicken sauce. That's the oil. I said, I said the oil comes from the chicken, so you don't want to put a lot of oil when you are actually frying your tomato sauce. So you don't want to put a lot of oil because the chicken already has a lot of oil. So I put some more water. I want to rinse the pot so that I have some of the stock. Then I'll put the stock inside my. That's enough. Okay, so pour some water there. I will put a lot of water. Because I want the chicken to really cook to well, so then I'm gonna stir it and allow it to cook and get dry. You know, it's gonna be a dry stew. So, this is how actually how I cook my stew. I don't really put too much ingredients, those just little spices ginger, garlic, um, fresh spice, you know, like basil, celery, onions, you know. Then I have other spices that I'm gonna be putting in at the end. Then I have also my clove, I'm gonna be putting a little bit of clove. So, we have the cloth here. Then I'm like I said, I'm also doing I'm doing more to cooking. I'm also roasting fish at the same time. The fish is already seasoned the way I want. So now we're gonna be putting a little bit of black pepper in my stew. Black pepper small. Then we're gonna be putting a little bit of cloth. Can you see? Cloth. Then we're gonna be putting also the um, bebe. They call it bebe. I don't know the English name. I'm gonna do my research. Then I also have white pepper from Africa that I already blend. They are all here, so I'm gonna be using that. Awesome. So this is a stew actually. No. So this is actually the tomato stew. I'm just gonna stir it a little bit because I actually put the stock and water inside. So I'm just gonna stir it and close it and allow it to cook so that the tomatoes can actually stew more together and enter into this. You want your tomato sauce, you want your chicken to like have some taste. It's already tasty. Because I put it, I seasoned it very well when I was like actually boiling the chicken, like you know. So when I, I'm just gonna allow it to cook so that I want everything to steam together. I want them to mix together, guys. So that's my tomato stew. How you see? Look at how you, look at look at the thing clean, 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 and not only clean, taste, it taste. So today I'm doing cooking with st my youtube channel connecting with my friends on facebook okay people are watching let me start greeting them we have um bella that is watching we have Roland or john that is one of my classmates i guess in, uh, in market we also have tashi clinton that is also watching thank you all for watching esther is just making her live videos on youtube you want to go to my channel on youtube and follow me guys i'm doing cooking with esty on my youtube channel i'm also doing um youtube with esty my on my youtube channel i teach people how to make their hair because since i came to the united states i do my hair myself i don't pay for people to actually bring my hair i do them myself guys I, it helped me to save some money this i just have this gift that i do this stuff not that i learn how to do my hair so I share all those things in, on YouTube to help people also that they can be doing their hair by themselves. They can just do some simple hairstyle by themselves. 
if I can do it, they can also do it, guys. And it helps you to save some money. Um, then I also do, like, I share my recipe with people on my channel, on my YouTube channel also. So I'm live. I'm doing actually a live video on my YouTube channel. So I decided to connect with my friends from Facebook, guys. So you want to go on search Esther Hegbe on YouTube and follow me. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. You know, you want to promote this your girl. Then on my channel, I don't only cook. Then I share my recipe, my recipe for my mom. My recipe, I cook African uh, recipe. Then I also share some of the Western dishes also before my mother-in-law. She's a white lady. So I also learned some of the, you know, they like cooking bakery and whatsoever. We deal with like dinner. So they also have this, their bakery dessert stuff. So I can share some of her recipe that I'm learning from her with you all in my channel. So that's what I actually, I'm actually doing on my channel. Um, my, my personal person is called Baba <laughs> Fabio. Thanks for watching. Try my people, I want Camo. Camo, I need some people to visit me. You can visit them. My house is open. You can visit me. <laughs> no, 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 the camera was even not showing directly. Let me flip back the camera. Yeah, you can visit, guys. You can. I miss you too. I want you to make you visit, though. <laughs> okay, so this is actually what I'm doing right now. Like I said, I'm cooking stew. Now, yeah, right, what I don't boil for rice, so I have to be. So I decided to do my live video on YouTube. So you know, so when I'm doing the live video, I just decided to come on Facebook Live also, so that people can actually know you are live. You know, to pro promote me, guys. You should go to my channel, like my channel, subscribe, and view. And I don't only share my recipe on my channel. I also do financial stuff, like an investment stuff, like I share business opportunity out there for people to also join. You know, I also have a team. Like if you want to invest, I'm also doing like online investment. So you know some of the online investment you go into it, some of them are scammers, some of them are real. So we're actually pretty much making money while we are also losing, losing in the hands of scammers. So I'm actually sharing platform business opportunity out there also. When I do my research about platform that you can actually invest and make some extra money on the side. Because you don't want to end all your the rest of your life working all through your life, you know. You have some little money, you can always turn them around, if not because of scammers that are making people to be scared to do online investment. It's pretty much investment is the key, guys. You want to invest so i also do that online investment i share them on my youtube channel you know so those are all what i do so you want to follow my channel you want to go on youtube and follow my channel i'm going to cover this meal and i like to cook because on why well i'm going to be boiling rice here so guys stay with me ah uh, why are you telling me i don't want to share it's going to be live Bring him back on camera. No, I don't want to bring nobody on camera. So. so, thank you all guys for watching. Keep watching, guys. Keep watching. We are cooking together. So, now I'm going to boil rice. Where did you make those rice? So, tell me. Get some. So, out here. Long green rice. Okay. I have my ring light here. I'm actually doing YouTube channel on the other side. This one is for YouTube. Yeah, this is one is out. This my phone directly is for Facebook Live. So I'm gonna be boiling rice. I'm doing it lot today. Oh, I need people. If you wanna come and eat, come and eat. I don't. I share. You can come and eat. I don't. I don't. I don't resist. Anybody don't wanna eat, come and eat. There's a lot of. There's a lot of food just for the two of us. Just for me and the whole. Oh God. Mm. I don't need a lot of rice, I'm just gonna boil for the time bit of rice. Because I'll correct, I'll correct something that I'm going to fry. Okay. Where is the lid? Okay, where is actually watching? Drop your comment if you're watching because I know who is watching so I can actually beat you. So today, like I said, I'm actually sharing my recipe, how I do prepare my stew. How I prepare my stew, so I decided to share it with you all on my channel. So my stew is almost getting ready. Today I just said welcome to my kitchen because I'm doing a lot today. Cooking my chicken stew, very nice. 
It's already. You want to make sure that you stay in every after five minutes because I don't want it to burn, you know. Since I'm cooking dry stew, I don't want it to get burned. The only thing is that it always skip and I don't like it. It can skip and burn you. So that's why I keep it covered. Okay, so now, now that I have the chicken stew on the side, then hot water is already there, hot water is already there. So I'm going to be boiling. I'm going to try to boil my rice right now. Okay, guys. I'm gonna wash my rice, so I'm gonna use this other side. It's so far. I don't want, let me bring the camera towards this. Like this other side. Okay. So this one off. Like seriously, this one off. So guys, we're gonna be boiling our rice now. Okay, that's the next thing. Cooking stew, yeah. Boiling rice, yeah. I already have it washed. I'm boiling my rice like I'm making jerry fries, but it's not jerry fries. I'm gonna be doing it like that because I'm gonna be putting curry because I want it to have the color, yellow color, and the scent of curry. But it's not jerry fries. So it's not actually jerry fries. So I'm gonna be stirring my rice. I'm just boiling a little bit of rice. You don't want much. You just two people. You don't have a lot of people that will eat. But if you are draining, okay, good and fine. Like I said, you wanna season your rice with some pinch of salt. I'm making the rice like jerry rice. No, there's not. some pinch of salt. Just salt. I'm gonna season it with my bouillon, which is like Maggie. My hand is my measurement, guys. Put a little bit, don't want much, it will spoil the chop. Now I want to add a little bit of water so I can eat more. Mm -hmm. Stir it. Like I said, I said I want it to have like a curry flavor, like curry flavor, and the color should be yellow. So I'm gonna put curry in my rice. The, the white rice is white rice, but guys, you're you're the one cooking, so you don't want white rice. I don't want white rice. I want to check. The rice is not even white rice. It's um actually brown rice. But I want to have that perfect um, color. You can see use turmeric, but I don't want turmeric flavor. I want curry. Where is the curry spices in there? Mm, I don't have curry spices here. Maybe it should, it should be on the other side. Let me check this other section. Okay, I don't have curry here. So curry should be in this other drawer. I have a lot of spices, guys. So the whole of this place is full of spices. Dun -dun! So I have curry here. Okay. So I'm gonna pour some curry into the rice. Okay. So I'm gonna be having the curry same. Then the rice is just is good. <laughs> Simple, I don't know, some people cook jarrah rice on the company. It's not even difficult to cook jarrah rice. This one I'm just doing like boiled rice, but I've seasoned it with bouillon, I've seasoned it with curry, and that's it's gonna taste like you can eat it like that, even without the tomato sauce. But I have tomato sauce to eat with. So you have to turn this up, this too. Probably getting burned now. Tomato is keep oh you want me to burn me at this cheap right for back. Let's keep saying that we're going to make it. Yeah! 
And you guys see this tomato sauce? You see how dry it is already? It is taste. Uh, I'm gonna taste them again one more time. So. African man it tastes like this with hand. The back hand like this. Wow! It's good. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Okay, at this point, my studio already can't ready, you know, you know this take it. So at this point I'm gonna be putting um oh uh, my white pepper and my a little bit of cloves and my how they call the other stuff again. I said the men that we for call them bebe, something like that. I don't know, I don't know the English the English version of it. Okay, so now I don't cover the rice, so I'm, I'm going, I have to reduce the the heat because you don't want to have a lot of heat when you're boiling rice because my gut burn. So you're going to reduce it to like a kind of steamer. So I'm going to bring it to steamer. Even the stew is always getting ready, so you don't want to leave it to high heat. You also want to reduce it almost to like kind of a little bit low. And so the rice, I brought it to steamer. Yeah, I don't want it to get burned, but I want it to get cooked and soft. And I don't want the rice to be mushy also. Now all that, my tomato stew are actually ready. So I'm going to put my light the spices that were my little touch. So my little touch now actually, white pepper, white brown pepper and the you know? That, those are what I'm gonna use as a, my touch. I don't think it's blended well. I have to blend it again. It's not blended well. Reduce it those two way to steam. I take some gray, so that's why I'm trying to blend it again. I don't want any gray. Okay guys, so I have it back here. This one I've been blending with something like it's like fine. After I get some roughness. So now it's a little bit fine. Just my hand. So this is my white pepper, the bebe that I put in my stew. Almost at the end. I wanna try this out guys. It's delicious. I'm gonna try my recipe and how you can cook stew. So delicious. You eat the stew. Oh, then now, like I said, I also put like cloves on my stew, but not much. So, you know, at times when you open it like this, you're pouring, you might put a lot. So you want to be careful. That's enough. Then I also put like black pepper. You don't want to put much also. That's a lot. Then guys, I also want to add a little bit of uh, my Cameroon pepper. You know, we have this pepper here. It's one of them are hot, but for me it's not really hot. So I have my Cameroon hot pepper here, you can see. It's your Cameroon pepper, hot pepper. So this is actually dry pepper. I, this is my special touch. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of pepper here. Just like it's actually dry powder pepper, Cameroon pepper. So I'm going to add a little bit. I like to have pepper in my food, but not much because not every, just me and my avocado. That one is enough because there's already pepper. I just realized that it's not like kind of really hot, so I decided to add some. Okay, let me wave, guys. I'm gonna wave you all watching. I'd like to just greet you all, just make you know that I'm I know you like you guys are there. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being there. Like I said, go to my YouTube channel, try to subscribe. My name is Esther Egbert. Just search Esther Egbert on my YouTube channel and like so like my channel subscribe and i'll be happy yeah i just wave some of you that are watching so i'm um, today i'm doing my recipe i'm like kind of doing cooking with Esri, sharing what was my recipe with you so you want to stay? oh the rice is almost ready guys it's almost ready so like i said you don't want it wow it's, it's yellow you know that may be mushy I'm just going to put it in my hand.
You need to have a better rack. So now you just stir the, the stew. This is actually dry stew. It all depends. If you want to add more water, you add it. I don't. I want the dry stew. I don't eat too much tomato sauce though. It's just a meat. When I have a little bit of sauce in my stew, it's okay. It's just a meat that I'm going to keep myself with. So I just want to blend the, the mix your pot, like stir it a little bit so that you can actually mix with mix where all the the last ingredients are you actually put inside your stew. You just want to mix it all together so that it will blend together. Yeah, that is it. It really looks dry, so it's like I'm going to drop a little bit of water because I don't want the spices that I put to go and like stick in one area. So just a little bit of water, then stir it and allow it to cook a bit. And that will be it. Mantle stew is thick. Okay, we got this ready, so we're just going to allow it to steam a little bit. The next thing I want to do, I want to check on the rice. Again, I'm going to be checking on the rice. I don't want it to get burned. And I don't want it also to be mushy, so I don't want to put a lot of water. Wow, the rice, the rice is nice. Yellow. It's actually boiled rice, but I make it a little bit of like, spice it up with some curry. And also, season it. You know, you can eat it like jello rice without any... It tastes like if I pass jello rice with some pudding, okay. wow. Because this one just only the season bouillon, salt, and curry powder. This means the inside. I want to see if the rice is actually soft or not. Hmm, hmm, getting there. It's getting there. I'm not adding any water. The water that is there is not going to be enough. I'm just going to allow it to steam up. That one, that's where I'm going to put it on steam. Okay, guys, like I said, we are not done cooking. We are going to the other side. We're gonna be roasting. We're gonna be roasting our chicken, roasted fish right now. So I'm gonna be taking you to this other section of my kitchen. So we're gonna allow the rice to cook. Then we allow the stew also to cook, just for some about four minutes or five minutes. That's just it. So now we're gonna be taking our roasted fish to the oven. Cancer. Okay, so let me turn my camera right now like this. Are you guys seeing me? Mm. So the, what I'm going to do right now, I was cooking um, chicken stew, boiled rice. The boiled rice, I decided to make it look like a jar of rice to so have curry flavor. So I have curry and the seasoning there. Bouillon seasoning, it's almost getting ready. So I put it on like kind of steamer, yeah. Then this one also is on steamer. I don't want it to get burned. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be roasting my fish. So I have everything already seasoned here. So I'm just going to take the fish to the oven. So I'm not even put my oven off, so I'm going to try and put it off. I'm going to be touching void, not big. I'm not even going to touch both. I'm going to touch void because you want it to be on void, so I'm going to be touching void. I'm going to start. I'm going to allow it to go wide. Okay. So, guys, I'm doing two live YouTube live. I'm doing YouTube live. Then I'll actually go into my social media, which is actually Facebook. Forget. Both crisis are having people everywhere right now. The crisis, isn't it? So I'm actually doing my YouTube channel live. Then I'm actually going to my social media, which is actually Facebook. Which is actually Facebook. Because I want to have some of my social media, uh, social media friends, like my Facebook, to actually go to my channel and actually subscribe. Because in my channel, I actually share a lot. I actually share a lot there. Teach you how to make money, how you can actually make money online how you can actually do your hair share my african recipe with you all not only african recipe some of the western recipe also that i learned from my mother-in-law okay and the one i also learned from my mom 
So I shared them all with you guys. Then I also teach you how you can make some beauty and fashion like hairdressing. Or you can also do your makeup like transform, like transformation. You know, then I also teach you guys how you can actually alter your dresses. You now you can buy it because you alter it the whole actually how you can actually change your style. YouTube guys, we are done with actually the stew, right? We're gonna be doing our plating and our plating on the screen. We're gonna be actually doing our thumbnail with the screen, with the plating, okay? That's gonna be our thumbnail. Which one did I use for the stew? This one for the stew. And then the one for rice, this was the one. I want to see this actually. This is the one that may burn at the end of all. Almost leave it there. Even when it's on steam, okay? I'm gonna see if the rice is like soft. It just comes up one one grain. You can see? Can you guys see? Hmm? The rice is okay. It's ready. The rice is actually soft. Guys, this is actually boiled rice. But I mean this is a form of giraffe rice, you see? It's actually boiled rice. I just put like seasoning. Um, bouillon, like I put my salt, like something like bouillon seasoning, which is like maggi. Then I put like curry powder because, I, like I said, I wanted to have the curry um, flavor and the coloring to be yellow, not white. This is it, and it came out perfect. It's one long grain. It's already cooked. So now you're going to be eating this right with our chicken stew. So the rice is actually ready. I'm also gonna be like kind of fry some chicken um, dodo. So I'm gonna be frying dodo also. That rice is ready. I'm gonna to close it there. The chicken stew, I'm gonna check it also. We don't want it to get burnt. The chicken stew is actually ready also. So we're gonna be putting this off also. So the next thing we want to do, we want to concentrate now on the roasted fish that we are about to cook. We'll put this one off. All everything is off now. I just mess everywhere. Alex, get away. Okay. Everything go back to their position. So we're going to be thinking of putting everything back in the position. Post no, I just have to make it pepper. <clears throat> the spice is like strong, spice is not like snakes. So guys, we have to go now towards this direction, the black pepper. Let me see if I'm going to go Beautiful. Let me see the space. Yep, the space. Miss Daniel's father. There's a space also there. Go back. So now we're gonna go towards the oven section because we want to actually roast our fish.
I'm done with this too. Boiled rice. And now I'm going to roast fish. While we're roasting the fish, I'm also doing my cleaning at the same time. Kind of doing multitask, cleaning the dirty dishes. You don't want to cook and your kitchen is all messy, you know. Some people are fond of that, they cook and they mess everywhere. I like cooking and cleaning at the same time. I don't like my area to be like really messy, you know. Okay, okay, okay. That one is ready. Okay, for the YouTube viewers, for the YouTube viewers, guys, we're going to be going towards um, the oven section because we actually want to roast um, We want to roast our fish. So we're going to be doing roasted fish. So I'm going to be staring my camera towards this direction, guys. Let me take it a little bit off. I already share with you all. I already share with you what I did. I already presented the ingredients that I use, guys. I already introduced the ingredients to you guys from the beginning of the video. On you guys that are following me on YouTube, like I said, if you want, you are, if you are on Facebook, you want to go to my YouTube channel, you want to support your girl, ST. Just go and type Esther Egbe. It's my name. I use my name. My name is actually my niche because in my in my channel I'm doing a lot. I don't just concentrate on one thing. So I actually use my name because I'm doing a lot. I'm doing cooking with Esty, sharing my African recipe and also sharing some Western recipe with you guys. So today I just decided to go live, you know. I just decided to do live video on YouTube just directly. Then I also do like beauty. I also make my hair. It has been long. I've been doing it without even recording a lot of... We are so busy guys. We have a lot that we are doing so I don't really have time to be doing videos all the time. Editing video all the time. You know, once in a while I come live and try to do live chat video with you guys. So I, I, the days I have time, I edit most of my financial videos instead because I'm also teaching people how they can invest online, make money online because I'm actually investing online with so many platforms. So I actually share some of those platforms with you guys. So right now we're going to be concentrating on cooking with... We're going to be concentrating on our roasting fish there. So I have to open the oven right now. It's already like, like hot, yeah. Where is that other handle? Did I just lose some of this stuff? Like yes, we don't lose some hand. Oh, I've lost them. I'm seeing the different fake color. You know. I don't lose I don't lose them. Oh. Okay. So we want to roast our fish. We want it dry. We don't want it to Okay, what are we gonna be doing right now? Like you guys are seeing this, I'm gonna be roasting this fish. It's already seasoned. I'm, I'm doing the my my roasted fish not on my grill today. This is a thick I don't want to go out there and be doing all those. If I use my oven now, when you're using oven, you want to set it on boil. You don't want to go and touch roasted, roast or bake. You want to set it on boil, guys. So in, on boil, it's gonna be like it's gonna be perfect. Like you roast it on the grill. On so this is it. It's a fish. So I'm gonna be putting it inside the oven. I'm gonna be checking it, you guys. Just gonna close it. And that's it though. Guys, that's pretty much it. Why? Why I'm roasting the fish, you want to make your pepper, and guys, I'm going to be sharing with you what I actually do. What I actually do, my ingredients that I use for my pepper. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to share that with you all. I have a lot of ways that I actually make my pepper, not like, I have different ways that I actually do that. 
So right now I'm just going to share the simple one I'm doing. I'm going to be having ginger. So I'm going to peel my ginger right now. I thought I already have a peeled ginger, but of sorry, I, I did not start to peel it. If you're on Facebook, like I decided to share it, like I said on my social media, if you're on Facebook and you're live, you're not going to give your guests support. Go to my channel. I do a lot of my channel, like I said. I'm doing cooking with SD, sharing the recipe. I'm also doing beauty with SD. I'm also doing glam with SD, guys. With the glam with SD, I actually share with you how you can actually match color combination and how you can actually alter your clothes. Then beauty, how you can actually make up to your hair. Simple hair fashion that can look pretty much good because I do do my hair myself. So, yeah. There are also show some products that are out there. If it's good, you can share some products like remedy for pimples. Like I now for long have not been taking care of my face, and now I'm having some pimples, like kind of shooting. About three days today, I've been seeing my face getting rough because I've, I've been neglecting myself. So I'm gonna start doing video also to share with you what I used to eradicate some of these blemishes or pimples that is appearing on my face. Right now, I'm going to be sharing that also. Then, like I said, my most of my recent niche now, what I'm actually concentrating on is actually on how you can make money online. You know, sharing. I was ha I'm having a group even. We have some scammers that infiltrated my group. I'm I was, I'm building group. I have two groups that I'm building, teaching people how they can make money. We enter into some, we lose some, we win some. But of, of recent, a lot of cameras infiltrated my YouTube channel. That's why I don't share my group link anymore on my channel because I have a lot of people that infiltrated my group, started scamming. I was like introducing a platform that are not good, scamming people for their hard earned money. So I was so mad. I started insulting some of the scammers. I was so mad. I insulted scammers on TV. Then when I dictated that you are a scammer because I dictated you can dictate them though, I, I started removing some of them from my group. I mistakenly removed about five at the same time, the same day, the same moment, the same hour. So they were mad and they reported me on WhatsApp. So WhatsApp blocked my number. I don't know why. WhatsApp is so stupid. WhatsApp is the same people like Facebook. Facebook is the owner of WhatsApp. So Facebook, I'm using you as stupid. I'm searching you. <laughs> you want to block my channel, they block. <laughs> so those scammers, I don't know if they are protecting the scammers or they have to protect with us. I don't really know what is, is wrong with them. You know? So these scammers infiltrated my group and they were scamming us, trying to try to take my group even. They had a group that I built. I built my group. It's almost 100 and something. Scammers infiltrated my group. I have two groups. And they want to take over my group. Started introducing platform, writing my, 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 my team members. Then they want to kick me out of my own group to own my group. So I was mad. I removed them away from my group. So they went. They said, if I'm, if they, they wrote me privately. Why do you remove me from our group? Why do you remove me from the group? It's my group. If I don't feel like you're no more welcome in my house or you're no more welcome in my group, I will take you out. So I have no explanation. I don't need to explain myself why I took that decision, you know. They were asking me, I was like, what the heck? These guys are there for real. These cameras are something else. So when I said I'm there for real, yeah, I, I, I saw their message. I did not reply. I, you don't need to, I don't need to explain myself to anyone. So I, I just ignore it. I did not reply. So when I did not reply like that, these guys were so mad. They went further and they reported my number, my WhatsApp number. I don't know what was their reason because I blocked them. And WhatsApp also blocked my number. So I don't have a number of WhatsApp. So I don't write my WhatsApp. I do not have any. If I want to have a new number, I have it. I don't share my channel, my YouTube group page because I have a group page. Like when I share a business opportunity online, right? I actually share the group so that you can join if you need help, you need guidance. You can contact me to about in my group, then I'll be able to guide you, you know. But of when this camera did all this, I'm like kind of what the heck? I don't think I'm gonna be sharing my, my group link to any on any of my channel anymore. So I just like people like if you saw my video on YouTube and you like the video, you like what I'm sharing and you want to be a part or a member of my channel, you can just like write on the comment section on my YouTube channel that you are interested, you want to join the team. And I'm going to introduce you and add you to my team. That is just it. But I'm not sharing my link anymore on my YouTube channel because of that, you know. So I'm trying to have some weak stakers and people that have the mindset of investing. So they can join our platform and let's move together. So right now, guys, like I said, 
what I'm doing like this is actually ginger hot pepper I want to make my pepper sauce for the fish roasted fish then I'm also gonna be putting this bread bear I want to be putting three I three three knots like this again oh my god then I'm gonna put in like two country onions this is country onions that's what I use for my pepper like my hot sauce because I'm making roasted fish that's it then I'm gonna crack it you don't want you want you want to use the knot inside you want to remove it from the shell so I crack that this is here we go I don't know if you want to this is it it's a crack one that fish is actually burning I can feel it I'm having the scent let's go and check it's like I put it too much on high so let's go and check guys Getting ready. Getting ready. What is this? It's a big one. Let me see it here. Where is it? it? Where is my spoon? Okay. guys so we want to check youtube so now we want to check our fish we want to check our fish if it's ready So you want to flip it all over, then I'll flip it almost twice and that'll be it. It's boy. I need another spoon. I'm not able to do it. Flip it like that. It's gonna. I don't want this to spoil. You need a flat wooden spoon so for support, no? So I can flip it around. So. I already did one and it's perfect. So it's not dry. it hasn't scattered. So it's perfect guys. So take your time, be gentle. Some people want to roast fish and it's so difficult for them. So the scatter it will not be in a hole. Look, I just flipped the first part round. So I'm gonna allow this other section to cook, then I'll flip it again. Flip it a second time and I'll be it. Oh, she asked for me. Yes. Oh, my God. Miss Dante was out of the house and we you have? there and then we talked. Oh, my God. And we talked with Elizabeth. Oh, that's good. Well, I was just asking about her today that it has been long. Yeah. Hi, she. She's she sitting, looking good. She has Pablo come too. Huh? What did you say, Michael? She had Miss Nancy asking Pablo to come by too. Okay, and, uh, you need some. And the funny part was Pablo saw her house and goes, I think she might need some work done. <laughs> oh, it's like she's no more having the strength, the strength to do certain things on her own because she usually do most of her stuff. Something she won't do anyway. Certain things she cannot do, okay? Oh, oh my God. So I'm live there. I'm live here. I'm live there. Okay, because so if you say nasty thing, you're going to appear on the screen. So remember, I'm live. <laughs> 
She told me to remind you about the 19th at the church because she said James is speaking. It's all about Genesis. Well, Christmas. It's Easter. 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 Yeah, I'm going. He's just this week that I'm not going because I wanted to get out this weekend. Yes, I'll be going to church. Oh, oh guys, I'm so sorry. I'm cooking. Then I have my family just coming into the house. So I have to be talking. I'm going to do my video live. I don't care. Today's live video. So I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I have to get the Easter stuff off. You have to get the Easter stuff off? So like I said, we have ginger. We have ginger here. We have pepper. I'm going to put garlic also. And then I have the bebe and country onions. We call it country onions. One there is the English name. That's it. One there is the English name. Marco, it's ready. You can see rice is ready. It's just your mom that doesn't eat that. You no, she doesn't eat that. Rice and stew? No, she doesn't eat rice and stew. How do you know? She if she try, you can see she wanna try. She can try. I'm lying. Sometimes I eat something, but yeah. sometimes I don't. Okay. Yeah, but uh, you both cook me a little bit too spicy, okay? She, uh, yeah, she doesn't like too much, but she just don't boil rice. Then no seasoning. No, I don't want to eat your sauce, okay? I like rice. Yeah, there's chicken. Like... But isn't a piece of meat. You don't like seasoning. Oh, no, there is that chicken with your heart. It's soft. I, I cook it soft. You know, they say, I said, told you they like with the soft one that it doesn't taste for us. <laughs> you like with that. But for us, it doesn't. They thought I was like showing you guys how no, I cook my dinner. Like you don't put nothing in the freezer. Huh? You put nothing in the freezer for me, guys. Very soon, my camera has to be going off. <laughs> I did not show you what I did. I put one there. I put country onions. I actually put um um some this one. What they call it in Jansa? Yes. Then I put white pepper. Also, I'm blending them. I I use them for my pepper. The pepper that I use for my roasted fish. So I add more pepper. It. It's having a nice flavor, right? Then you can also add black pepper, guys. But I already have black pepper, the powder version. So I'm just gonna put the powder version there. But oh, this is another black pepper here. I have a lot of black ground pepper. So I'm just gonna put the ground pepper directly inside. Yeah, you see? In this blender, I have ginger. I'm gonna put garlic there, the pepper hot sauce. So I'm gonna put black pepper there. That's, it. That's enough. <laughs> Even if I have that fresh pepper, guys, like I have it there, it's still kind of not pretty much hot. YouTube. I'm sharing my ingredients. Yes. What I used to make my pepper. Okay, so this is what I used to make my pepper. Tree shake. You can plan it. And look at it again. Okay. So guys, so like I said, I'm trying to share the ingredients that I used to make my pepper. I'm having my own way of making my pepper. There's a lot of various methods that I used to make pepper. But today I'm so super fast. I just want to do something very fast. I'm not going to do all the protocol. Like I already share with you guys. I use white pepper from Africa, Cameroon precisely. Then I'm also doing this um this ingredients. We call it um bebe. I don't know the English name. Like I said, we have one there which is country onion. So I also put that one there. Then I also have some little bit of jansa that I put there also. The scent of the fish is smelling. It's like I have to go and turn it again. So I blend it well. So I'm just 
I'm gonna mix it all inside here because I wanted to blend these hot spices, the not spices. Then I put it in on the wet blender to blend them. So guys, I'm gonna be stirring the fish. Then I'll be back. Mix it all. Okay, guys, that's YouTube. YouTube is live, also. Somebody's watching me, also live in YouTube, guys. Um, Who ate all my eggs? I don't know. I we don't know. want people to intrude our video. <laughs> <laughs> this is enemy of four guys. She wants to intrude my video. <laughs> okay, then I also cook chicken soup. My, my sister. Sister, come for America, yeah? They get to that one guy chicken and all. And then you just buy chicken, see chicken, chicken fat, so it is sweet. And you buy chicken, you can't cook stew, you stew, you just they blur. And it really sweet. I was like, what the heck? So I keep complain. I always complain, I always complain, complain, complain. My master now go say, he get chicken where he go work. That chicken where me, I want another one, they can't say, oh, layer. So you go go for 
army something they call the army shop like the people they still live in local they still live they still live in the in olden days they still live primitive yeah yeah they they, they live here yeah. so go for the place to so the army place my husband go buy something like it he said hen and that one i need them so they call it like, something like old layer so you buy the chicken i don't use and cook chicken stew so i cook chicken stew then i cook rice this is actually boiled rice but you see the way i make my boiled rice right guys are you seeing i'm sorry i'm blocking I'm blocking my channel, my, my YouTube section. I'm blocking the YouTube section, guys. Sorry, guys. So, this is actually, yeah, this is the tomato stew that I cook, you know. Then, this is actually the rice that I boil. This is actually boiled rice. It's boiled rice, but I make the rice to have like a yellow color, right? So, I put curry, curry for inside the rice. Then, I put bouillon, which is like maggi salt. I all that, then I boil the rice because I want the rice getting yellow color, just like jerk rice, which like that, but not you know, it tastes the thing even past the way some people cook that jerk rice with all ingredients. So now I boil the one with the chop and with the, with the chicken stew. Then I know your ends, so I'm going to fry rice plantain because I made rice plantain. That would be the last thing I would do. I have this rice plantain that I have to fry. I have to start the front of me and I will chop and I just two people, me or one of them. Just to show anybody that they have a little country. So now, then now I'm trying to make my pepper sauce. So I actually share my ingredients, which I usually do. So I don't put um uh, I don't grind all spices, I don't make really sure I don't repeat myself again. I don't make my pepper. So uh, anyone need questions for know which I use of the pepper, just drop it on the comment section, like you know. Then when I see it I will tell you I will type the ingredients the way I actually use uh actually the situation. This is my mother and all one so I'm showing you guys. She's, she's saying hi to <laughs> That's my mother I love. This is the, this is our whole food. Look at what she's eating. Yeah. They don't eat yeah. something. And if she has to eat something, but they eat like bread, cheese. I know some of you love this type of food because the, but this is what she eats. That's cheese, all type of cheese. Antonia, you know you like a lot of cheese. See cheese. Uh, she eats this, cheese, cheese, cheese. And what is that? Uh, that uh, what type of cheese is that? Uh, French. Mm. Oh, okay. That's what she eats. But me, I go with the real now. Guys already chop it in chicken stew and that. Like, they don't keep fun to me. <laughs> like, they don't yeah, like I'm not just... much. I'm cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I like the chop, no? Guys, the cook for all two, I like to me, no? Mmm. I'm going to spam the cheese. Yes. Spam the cheese. No, continue. Okay, guys. So. So, guys. We're gonna be going somebody's live on YouTube. Yeah. So now with the ingredients, go to my YouTube channel, watch to my YouTube channel, please. Support your lady Esther. In my channel, I do share my recipe with you all, African recipe, and some of the Western recipe that I learned from my mother-in-law, and my African recipe that I learned from my mom, and my own touch that I add there. I also do beauty and fashion. Like in the beauty section, I actually do some makeup by myself. Then I also do my hair, like show you some little tip on how you can actually do your hair like um then i also do like fashion like teaching you how you can actually blend your clothes the way you can dress guys um let me take this one off so i actually teach you also how you can actually um, alter your dress like some fashion how you can like color combination you know how you can actually match your color for the summer or the winter it doesn't matter where you are how you can mix that's what i do <laughs> then i oh i love cheese i know you love cheese <laughs> somebody said they love cheese i know so that good taste no it's not good taste you know you I don't care how cheese you have in my i don't want when well, i'm european okay yeah she's european my my sister i told you my sister loves cheese in africa she was Bringing there's a story that I'm going to be sharing right now. When we were in Africa, right, my sister went and like she was asking, I don't know what she asked. This is working in an airline. She's working in an airline, so people come all over the world. Like, Esther, see, turn your camera. It's not straight. Do you not hear your people? See, I don't have time. My camera is see, not straight. I try, and she doesn't have time for you. That should tell you something. <laughs> sure, I won't. I know I'm in, but I'm not fighting my, my channel. So don't start. I got you views. You got me view. Don't make me my best. Don't make me my best at that query. <laughs> so now, so my sister, like I said, she likes cheese. Okay. My sister likes cheese. So she she has this friend that when they travel all over the world and they will bring cheese. So when they bring cheese, she will bring the cheese in my own family, giving me to taste them, to give a try. Then I don't really like cheese. All I like for cheese is just the 
The other one, lavash kiwi, you know? That's she just says she doesn't like grilled cheese, but guess who loves grilled cheese sandwiches? No, I love grilled cheese sandwiches like all that, but not cheese, like empty cheese, you know that? <laughs> yeah, so my sister likes cheese. She, she does. She, she's white and she's light. She likes cheese. So she will be, she will be bringing this cheese in my room. Like, Esther tried this one, tried this one in, in the university campus when I was in the university in my country, Yaoundé. She will be like, Esther, try this cheese, try the cheese. Then when I try the cheese, there was one. I don't know if she's light. Let me see. Somebody down there, I don't know. So, yes, it's my Inside sister. Me. No, my sister is live. So I'm talking, I'm to turn your um, camera, it's not straight. Well, I don't want it to be. Okay, turn it. I know, I was doing it the vertical way. So this one is over into that. So what happened is that my sister bought this cheese. I tried to taste this cheese. This cheese was smelling like like somebody just took it down. If she is there, she can write the name of the cheese. Why did she say it was a goat cheese? This thing was smelly. Did it smell like, smell like somebody just took a poop? I almost go crazy. I was like screaming. Wow! She, then she laughed or she. Antonia, I don't know if you can remember the name. She's lying. Do you remember the name? Do you remember so the story? Many, she, There's so many different cheese. I don't know if she so remember the story. Cheese, you know. Tell her if she likes stingy sheets, ask him the people bring the sheets from Denmark. Uh, Limburger. Esrom. Esrom. It Denmark. smells like somebody just took a poop. That's what she said. That's what Esrom smells like, somebody just took a poop. That cheese was stinking. That cheese was stinking. I, I was like, oh my god, I don't There's like cheese. So many cheese are stinking, but the Esrom is one of the cheeses. Then I heard that. Then, then I got a story that she told me. I don't know who, who threw her with that story. She's like, oh, what is, what is the true story? I don't know. She said they make the cheese. There's a cheese that they put something and it becomes like maggots. I was like, who the heck? Yes, there's a cheese. I know, okay. I know the cheese you're talking about. Which means she was saying? You mean they go out the truth? I don't eat it, okay? Okay. It's only in one part of the world. And so you did it. Yeah, what story? How you do it? I, okay, they are disturbing me. They are even intruding, but it's okay. This is my pepper that I'm actually making. Um, they said that's the trick. I'm actually making my pepper. Do you remember the cheese? Oh, yeah. So I can't forget yeah. good cheese. Spanish has some good cheese. Italian has cheese too. But this I'm is the maggot table. cheese. Cousin Marzu. Yes. So right now, guys, like I said, I'm making the pepper. I'm going to be putting this um, fresh leaf spice also there to blend it for my pepper. Italian cheese, I'm not so crazy about overall, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is what I have. My sister said it's can come and bear. I don't know. How many bears are not shakes? How many bears are not shakes? It's not what? It's smell. Every cheese smells a little bit. Yeah, she said it was camembert. So she wrote the camembert. We is a softer version of camembert. Mm -hmm. But tell her to uh, to bake the camembert like you buy the park mm -hmm. Uh Put um, pepper on it, scrape of the the white. Yeah, are you hearing what she's telling? Yeah, I'm live doing live video. Okay, scrape of the white start. for camembert. Mm -hmm. Put paprika on it, spices. Paprika with pa pa paprika. Pa we don't. Okay, we do. We do. I don't. I don't. No, know, it's, did you add it's, it's not. There is not a common spices with us. It's yeah, but it's not a kind of common spices that we use. And usually, okay. Yeah, uh, it's close enough. And uh, <laughs> okay, guys. Powder. And uh, so, guys, I'm putting a flour, egg, and bread cooked and fried, and eat it with cranberry mm -hmm. sauce. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you get Kaiser Bender, but we eat in Germany this is okay, but cranberry will go. Okay, guys, so now we just need the pepper sauce that I'm actually making. Like I said, I have the pepper, everything. Can you grab me one onion in there? The French French, please, thank the you. French. After you just made mean to me on live camera? I don't be mean to you, so don't start squaring me and don't start. Because if you want to tell her, I don't control myself, you know. <laughs> if she want to know how to make it, she can come. Yeah, yeah. If you want to know how to make it, you can come. I got my, my mother in law. Can I bet you? <laughs> okay, guys. So that's actually pretty much. We have the seasoning. I've put everything here. My face don't rub like simple. So I'm going to be adding this. Um, I'm going to be adding this Cameroon pepper, hot pepper. This is it. Uh, actually, Cameroon, if you wish it, Cameroon pepper, it's really hot. This other pepper that they have here, I put the fresh pepper, but it's not, it's not going to be hot. So I'm going to be adding one, because I want it to be hot. So I'm going to be adding like one cup, one cup, you see, of my pepper there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You get the smallest of it. Thank you.
So now I'm going to. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> so that's actually, I know you see my paper, I make paper. I'm actually making, um, I already cooked this too. So I already share everything that I did on um, my channel from the beginning. Then now it's actually my paper that I'm actually making. My own hot paper while I was chopping the fish. That fish should be okay now. Right, so let's go first of all. I want to make sure that we are done with the fish before we can continue with any other video. No, where's my that fish? So it don't really so even it's for the chicken now. So actually, like I talk about the cook fish. Okay, that is it. So we're gonna be removing. My water fish is actually ready. I actually use the oven to so cook it. Like I said, I do not use the grate this time around. And it's perfectly dry and good to eat. You see? So, you know what? Well, this is perfect. My sister likes roasted fish. I'm going to put it off. So then I'll have to try to eat something to eat. No, this is like food. You're right. Don't spoil your video. Okay. So. The fish is almost ready, guys. So, like I said, the fish is ready. We're gonna be going towards mm -hmm. there. Let me flip the camera back for this. You see, that is the fish that I was roasting. It's actually ready, so dried and perfect. See, so nice, moist roasted fish comes out smoothly. So the show. Then my YouTube channel, guys, it's kind of doing two things, a lot of things at the same time. Probably I'm not going to fight that the plantain today. We're going to use, we're going to do that tomorrow. Fry plantain, we already have a lot. So you see, this is the fish that I wrote. It came out so perfect, you see. Perfect, you guys see. Perfect. Perfect. Perfecto. No burn, no burn, no scatter. And I use... The fish, the roasted fish, it came out well. I'm not gonna work because I'm covered with oil. But I have to remove it in this grill so that I can put it in the little grill. See, that's the roasted fish. So I'm gonna remove it. The whole family is cooking that. Is cool. The whole family is cooking it. They, they were out. I was the one doing my video alone. Then they just came. They went to buy outdoor stuff. So I was doing my video alone. They just came. So now I'm going to be transferring my fish, guys. Then I will remove the chicken. This is a chicken stew that I cook so delicious. Dry, dry chicken. No. So. Place 
Okay. YouTube guys, are you there? Yeah, this is YouTube. We and like I told you guys from the beginning that I'm actually like cooking with Esty. It's actually my channel that was just cooking um, live cooking, sharing some recipe with you that I roast on fish. You can see the fish, this is the outcome of the fish. Then I also cook my chicken stew. This is actually the chicken stew, this is the outcome of it. I'm gonna be doing my plating immediately I'm done, but I'm not gonna do plating with um, fish today. I'm gonna be doing plating just with the chicken stew. So I'm gonna be transferring the roasted fish on there and yeah. I know I'm gonna spoil it now that I'm there. Mm -hmm. The fish came out so good. I must cut it. This was so much big. So, guys, so you see? Let's start part like now. So, I'm done with this. So like I said, I already have all the ingredients. So we're gonna be making our pepper sauce. What I'm using today, at times we have some other ingredients that I put and at times I also have a different method that I use to mm -hmm. actually make my pepper sauce. So for the purpose of this video today. For the purpose of this video today, we are going with what I have. This is actually <clears throat> like I already shared with you what is here. So what is lacking that I'm going to be putting here is just actually onions Then I'll pour some vegetable oil inside then I'll need to add um, um Ginger, I mean garlic. I did not put garlic there. So I will have some pureed garlic that we have in the house So I'm gonna be putting that Oh, she has a roasted garlic that she made the other day and she said it tastes good So I'm gonna be taking some part of some roasted garlic and put it inside the pepper is gonna be good. She said it tastes good. So we're gonna be going with like sorry? What's that? It's a roasted garlic is sweeter. So this is actually roasted garlic that she made the other day. She just have like a whole garlic and then the bake it or in the oven. Yeah, so eh? No, I'm not putting a spoonful. I cannot put a spoonful, you're gonna spoil my food. So you're gonna take like some cube like this half to put garlic there. Then you close it up. This is actually the roasted garlic. Cooking kit, ST kitchen. ST kitchen. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you, I'm cooking with ST today. Yeah, guys, this is cooking with ST today. Okay, so now we have that. Um, we have roasted garlic here. We have ginger. We have all the country onions. Like, I don't know. The country onions is like kind of one there. The bebe, I don't know the English version of it. I put it, I put white pepper. I also put some black pepper there. I also put like um, jansa. <laughs> then I put my camomile pepper and fresh pepper there. Then I also have the leaf, fresh leaf spices that I'm adding here. So this is just what I'm doing to the pepper because you know the fish is already ready. I was super fast. I know. I think it's maybe two hours. So I'm not adding I used to prepare all this two minutes. So now we're gonna slice one bowl, one onion, and put it inside. You can also put other spices like i said it's not every day that i have my pepper taste the same i usually have different um, um pepper flavor and the way i usually do them differently some of them i usually actually cook my pepper so you know it's not the same i have different methods so today this is the method i'm using today so now that i have this i'm going to be adding like some you need that? I don't need what? I don't need anything. Thank you. Oh, really? Well, I don't need anything. So I'm gonna be adding my. Just wanna come to the. <laughs> okay. Then I'm gonna. <laughs> Stop this again. <laughs> no, I'm going to do as well as they are. Like what they might do when they are out. Like what they I'm 
from the other stew you know some of the recipe I learned from the western recipe that I learned from my mother-in-law you know that's western recipe then I also um, do beauty and fashion like makeup and how you can actually break your head some hairstyles I also do that on myself because since I came to the United States like I said I do my hair by myself I don't go to the restaurant uh, into this hair salon all of my hairstyle I the one be doing if you guys have been seeing my pictures ever since I came to the United States I kind of share I kind of share like um, my pictures on my channel on my videos or on my page all the videos i'm sharing and all the pictures i'm sharing is my the hairstyles i'm the one that make my hairstyle i do my hairstyle by myself but when i was in africa i was not doing my hair i would go to the salon so i have never even go where they do hair so i do the hair by myself so i share some of these hairstyles on my youtube channel then i also alter some of my fashion i might buy a dress i alter the dress so i also share some of the fashion how I alter my dress on my YouTube channel and I also share with you how you can actually do color combination so those are what I actually do but of recent right now my main focus you know editing video is kind of really difficult for me to take my time and be editing a lot of video with a lot of things that is going on we are so busy so I try my best not just come in life when I'm doing I just come life that's it then I concentrate on doing financial videos like investment videos trading videos how you can actually trade crypto share some business opportunity with you all that is out there so that you can actually invest you know so those are what i'm actually doing right now so you want to go to my channel and support mm -hmm. Esther. so i want to share, check the name esther Egbe. um my youtube name is esther Egbe. so you just want to go and support like support me the channel is actually doing pretty much good though i have almost four thousand something subscribers which is pretty much good and i appreciate everybody that is there but i've been neglecting my channels i don't really concentrate um, I was not concentrating on that, so for some time now, I try. If, if I want to go the channel again, I can like kind of push it up and push my channel. So you want to go there and subscribe. Like I said, the name is Esther Egbe. I don't know if I can write message here. That's my name, Esther Egbe. So you just want to search Esther Egbe, and you're gonna be seeing my name. Then you want to go there, subscribe. You know, you want to subscribe, share my videos, and watch. Maybe you can see something that you like there. And it might help you guys, you know. So that is it. So today's video was actually today video was actually like cooking with Esther 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 question. I was actually in my kitchen trying to cook today. Like just cook, you know. Then she said doing it live with you all. So that is actually what I was doing. I know somebody is watching live on YouTube like it and has been long. I know it's my sister's son. He should be the one. He has been live or he should be the one <laughs> that child. <laughs> He's my number one fan. <laughs> Every time I just come live or put a video, I wish I told you them. It's just not fun. <laughs> He's my number one fan. <laughs> he doesn't joke. Yeah. Hi, Nana. I know you're watching. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? You are the best brother of mine. You are very supportive. I really do love you. <laughs> I really wanted it to be red, so I'm gonna put some paprika. So 
but I can give that color. My mother in law is also disturbing. <laughs> they are all intruding my videos. <laughs> today, <laughs> today, today they are all intruding. They were my husband. I just told my husband to just get her. It's <laughs> not make me to be happy. My mother in law is also there trying to do it. Her own thing, so I'm gonna be here. Is it this paper that is red? I want it to have a little bit of color, you know? Yeah, it looks so strong. I hope it doesn't spoil my paper. This is another type of paper. You know, I do not have bell paper. I usually use bell paper. So I do not have that bell paper today. So I wanted to have other paper. I want to give color. So I'm just going with the email that I have. But it's going to be Yeah, thank you all for watching. Hi, Betty. How are you? Long time. Betty is a chef. Betty can cook. Betty also cook in Bonas. She cooks very well. When we are lazy, we don't want to cook. I just go to Betty's place, Betty restaurant in Bonas, and eat. I don't know if she's still doing all those things. But Betty is a chef. Shout out to Betty. Ben. <laughs> Miss you all. <laughs> oh my God. She can cook. She's a hardworking girl. Yeah, so we have this um, the spice. So when I have it right now, I'm going to be putting it in a little bit of bowl. Then I'll put it in my oven, like you know. I'm not even going to do that in the oven. I'm going to microwave it. So that will be the perfect time. So let me look for it. Okay. So now I'm going to put the pepper here. Okay. Okay, I already have it blended. Wow, it tastes so good. Try it. It's already looking so good. Like I taste them now. So good way. I know I even first put that for my. I know I even first what put that for microwave for even cooker. But it's already it tastes already powerful. That's the pepper sauce that I have made. My pepper sauce. This is the, with the ingredients that I put is hot. I don't know how that little common pepper that I put is really hot, guys. Okay, guys, that was just it today. We have today my recipe we cook chicken stew. Um, I like told you guys not to buy all this stupid chicken that they have in these just stores in America, it doesn't taste just go with your hand. That one's strong, you cook it, it'll be good. Then I also share with you how what I do, like when I boil my rice. If I don't want to have actually white rice, I don't want it to be white rice, I just color the rice with curry. Um, curry curry flavor I color it season it with you can even eat it as if it's like kind of rice jerk rice which is not as plain but you can taste without pretty much nothing so you can make your rice like that also that's what I share with you then I also roast fish today I roast fish I share with you how I actually roast my fish the way I roast it like I said I have different method of roasting my fish different method of making my pepper so the last thing I was doing I was supposed to fry plantain but I don't need this it's a lot nobody's gonna eat it so I'm not gonna eat it, so I'm not gonna fry plantain today. I'm just gonna put the plantain back, then I just eat the rice and stew. So then this is my pepper. This is actually what I use. This is actually my pepper, guys. Like I said, it's so good, you know. See? And when you cook up, the pepper tastes today. That flavor. Wow. So now I'm gonna be taking this to the oven. Sometimes I do it differently. I boil all the ingredients. I boil everything. 
Okay, when I'm done from boiling them, I just blend. But at times I don't boil, I blend them, then I do what I'm doing, like this. Leon <laughs> Okay, so this is the fish. I'm not gorgeous. Then this is cheap. Let me remove this. I have to put it in. I have to go and take it also. To get right into me. That I could bet. Right. You know? So I'm gonna use some. I don't want to cook it every day. He cooks like crazy, so he will be cooking when he wants. So I'm going to cook what I like to eat that I share with him because he cooks nearly everything. So I'm going to cook everything. So I just allow him to cook in the kitchen. So, Alex, guys, I'm coming. The ducks are coming. They're hearing me by this way. This woman is going to give us food. You don't eat our food, but you have to eat food with us. This is the that is very good. Dry stew, you know, perfect. This is the, what you call the hen. I did not use the chicken that I said we have here. It don't have any taste, but now, when you eat this one, no, no, it do like you do back for Cameroon, it's not covered. You know, this is our fertilizer chicken, the way. This is great. Mm. Cook some nice chicken to you. See, like the chicken tomatoes is so nice, you know. But when you want to taste it, Man, just be like, I'll be like, come on, I'll be like, 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 i will be the wood is not anything, it doesn't sleep. So when I cook like this, move them, preserve them, and put them in the freezer. I don't want to try to cook all the time. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to eat this also. I'm going to eat this right now. I can eat also, eh? I don't joke. So you see my tomato stew? This is a total of tomato stew. So, 
we have chicken stew that I prepared. You can see it served here. I have this boiled rice that I make it with a form of jello fried curry way. You know, then we also have this um, chicken that I prepared. I mean, roasted fish. Oh my god, that's the. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now, we want to make sure that we check. Oh, the pepper. So I'm going to be stirring it a little bit. Whoosh! The hot, so we're going to stir it. Then when we stir it, we're going to put it back again for about two minutes. You know? My pepper is like kind of not yellow pepper. It's a little bit green because I put some green spices also that I do not use any too much red pepper or bell pepper or not so that's why I'm having this color but it tastes good, it's really good and hot this is how I want it to look like so I have different version of making my pepper so this is just one of my version and it's really good so you want to stay it when I stay it I, I will put it back in the oven for about Two minutes again and that will be it and it means everything will be i'm done for today kitchen you know i'm done for cooking today yeah and you can how are you guys my dad my one of my friends anyway in Cameroon, but i don't really know where she is right now i don't know if she's still in Cameroon or she's in america or she's in there i don't know I know she's fine. Yes, yes, my boy. <laughs> yeah, get the kitchen today. Coco! Yeah! <laughs> Hi! I'm the kitchen today. I'm doing cooking with Esty. Today I'm actually sharing my recipe. How are you, Paul? I'm doing great. Today I'm actually doing cooking with Esty. I'm actually cooking like um, chicken stew. You know, for America, you have it. We go buy that chicken there. So yeah, the chicken there doesn't taste no nothing. The chicken there just like some, uh, like how do you call it? No, no taste. Taste there. <laughs> so I don't complain to them. I don't know what kind of one thing that is. It's no good. That is like he said. I need to have the hen. So it was hen. So I decided to show share my recipe today how to cook my chicken, and I did it. It's awesome. So I cook chicken stew and I made roasted fish today. So I'm actually sharing it on my YouTube channel and I'm also sharing it on my. I'm also doing live on my channel. So you want to go there and support me if you like. <laughs> so then I actually cook stew. So I'm already done. So I'm like kind of just saving myself right now. Oh, guys, Alex. It's TV, guys. It's just the TV. You just need to show us. No but it's just so now I don't cook chicken stew, that's the chicken stew. So I cook the chicken stew, look at it. Nice, this is ham. If you chop the tomato, you, you think you go back like you did Cameroon. You think you go back for home, like you know, it tastes uh, mad. Uh, no, this is all and it goes to you, me and I said, oh, this is stew. I said, I eat my stew. Uh, it's really there was something no. lacking. I was like, I still complain. I have to cook my stew, it looks so gorgeous, but it didn't really taste some way. That was a chicken, no, this is and my husband says it's a chicken. We go buy now the real one. So I'm cooking now my stew, and it's already having the taste. Uh, the chicken, they, they like. The chicken, they like. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, the chicken they like pop. No taste. And they'll be eating it. I'm starting to look them. So the best. What is this chicken? It taste just some big chicken. So I'm talking to them saying I hand with the right chicken. It's a hi hi Helen. How are you doing? I am. Um, I know right. So today I decided to cook the chicken like with my stew and look there is a difference. The chicken tastes so good. The stew tastes so good. Then as I did it, I decided to also roast um, chicken. I also decided to roast um, some fish. I decided to roast some fish like my own way and to teach people to share my recipe. This actually I roast this fish on the oven. I did not use um, grill, you know. Places that they were cold right now, places are so cold, you cannot grill it out. Like you have the grill let me show you. We do actually have the uh,
use your ozone for cooking your roasted food. And now that you use your ozone, I share it. You use boiled. I prefer to use boiled. Don't use roast, don't use bake. Use boiled. When you use boiled, it will give you just the same way like charcoal. Esther Aki Egbede, chef cook. Yes, oh, my sister Joanna Egbede, I miss you, girl. I miss you all. I'm doing my, I'm going to be sharing my recipe with you all. Can you imagine? This chef cook that is just losing her, like her potential. No? <laughs> Anyhow, my family eat and I say the like and is good. No, me If I don't use it, I'm money, no problem. <clears throat> yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Someday, so they place this kill crew. White man, yeah. That makes my die. Yeah, this is a cool, my dear. It's cool. It's really cool. Why not? This is a sick cool. But when uh, we go enter summer, forget, forget. Place is a go hot today. It's summer period. Place is a cool. But now, look at that, my mother in law. <laughs> she said, <"Hey."> <laughs> she, she, so now we are trying to do like she went out today. They want outdoor stuff. You know, when places are going to start for summer, yeah, forget. You don't go like what you don't house. Now places are so cold, you can't be outside. Places are extremely cold. Then very soon places will be extremely hot. You watch don't know that heat I would use at the house. Very soon, for the other time, I would use that heat. Or use outdoor. Please see, see what she wore when I say longer. They need chop chop but they are, they look at how they are, they, they are around. They are always close. <laughs> look at they, 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 they are looking for food. They, they don't eat this food. They have their own food. They have their bed there. <laughs> <laughs> I would eat the fish. No, no, there's no sauce in the fish. The fish doesn't have sauce. My house sauce is separate. This is my house sauce. So I don't make this pepper, guys. Like I said, oh, I share this pepper. I, like I have different way of making my pepper. So this method that I use today is pretty much the way I make an it's fine to take a job. It's already be cooked. I make an oven. Like I said, I get so many methods of making my pepper and so many ingredients while you make my pepper. If you try my pepper today, tomorrow you don't get the same taste of pepper. You get a different taste, different flavor because I use different things. So today I did want to make it like kind of like with the dark green. So gorgeous. Like I tell you, it tastes so well. When I ask you, I forgot. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, I'll tell you they make them so no taste, okay. I'm telling you, now fertilizer they make them so no taste, they didn't really taste at all. They didn't taste. Let me see. Let me see what they Let me try and read some comments. I'm actually done cooking, so I'm going to be reading some comments right now. We say, hi, what are you cooking? I'm actually cooking pork. I'm actually cooking... I already did chicken stew, like I said. Uh, I also cook chicken... Um, roasted fish. SD, I'm fine. <laughs> Tell me about it. Look, let me see what. Okay, I'm trying to go through the conversation, guys. Okay, oh, let me just change it over. Send recipe. Look. <laughs> no, I laugh. Um, I need care. I need care. Give me say look tantalist. <laughs> Tantalizing. <laughs> Use them. When I ask you for call, I'm telling you. Okay, why is it say send recipe? I will, I will pour. So that's actually what I did today. Like, like I said, it's gorgeous. Look, look at it. Did you see this ring? Look at my fish. Look at this. Is oven. I use oven to roast my fish. It looks like I roast it on the like fire side now for charcoal. Look at. Yeah, I already shared the spices for this pepper. But I will still call them. I share the spices while I use them. The pepper finds the mercy. I want this smoky. The pepper finds the good job. Let me get the spice. I'm going to tell you the spices again. Wow. I said it's all one of them. I still have the meat. You see? This is the spices. Um, I have, um, is it, um, Bebe? You will know it's Cameroonian. I don't know the English name. I have the bear, I put three, then I have country onions, I also put country onions there, we call country onions one day, I know the English version. All this one came from Roma, my elder sister came back from Africa, from Rome. so she just bought them last week, she bought me some of the spices. Then we have this um, white pepper, they get their own pepper, the white pepper, I don't know why not, powder, I don't know any this. So my sister bought this from Cameroon, it's so good, white pepper, I use this one, then also I use country onions, I mean, um, Jansa, so few quantities, you can like the spices. 
I also use this. So I also get I also get this maggie. So I put one eye, one one cube maggie for it. Then you know for here we mostly since we use the maggie you know, like this, we actually using um this chicken bouillon flavor. It just tastes the same like the maggie flavor. Now in most African houses then they use like you go there you get them because get the same taste like our seasoning they want to use them back at home. So they actually the same. So that is the spice. Then I have also, you know, you may buy hot pepper and they will be like kind of the pepper is hot. Like it's not even hot, they are kind of hot, guy. This is what I use, Cameroon pepper, you see. Cameroon pepper. I saw this in one African store that I went to the one African store, not from Nigeria, man in the store. If they sell and Cameroon pepper, I say, oh my god, you people have my pepper for my own. The pepper be hot. So I don't put the fresh pepper, I use the fresh pepper that they got here. It's not a direct tomatoes. It's a bit hot. Even though you get a hot one, but it's not easy for you to forget. You know that blow where you be give me for outfit, you go pay with them. <laughs> These are my classmates. These are my classmates from primary school and secondary school and even my church mate. They are all here. Can you imagine there are some, some discussions that I don't even remember that they, they keep on reminding them. Look, it's right that I gave him a blow. <laughs> Am I remembering the blow? I'm going to pay it. <laughs> but I don't keep on laughing. Don't try me. <laughs> Say, I will pay you with a fish. Come, there is fish. If you come over time a day, you come from my own state. It will be good. There is fish. I will welcome you. I will receive you very well. You get space to stay. You get wait to eat. I'm, you know, a lack tea for drink. So you're welcome. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, there. I might continue to show you the spices. Okay, this has I, I be giving some blow. <laughs> he said, "You know that blow way you be give me for fee, you get to pay. That should be primary square. This is primary school, Saint Joseph Catholic school. He still remember his stuff last how many years ago? Maybe twenty something years ago. <laughs> but you know where? <laughs> so we also have um, pepper. Like I tell you, the pepper is very delicate. Even though they have some hot pepper, but it's, it's where for you to find the hot pepper. If you want to go for the, you want to get hot pepper for here, you get to go for African shop, then they will get some actually some hot pepper. So I get Cameroon pepper that I bought it. So I add this Cameroon pepper for my blender when I blend all my spices. And I mix all the spices with this bouillon inside. I put um, vegetable oil. If you feel use granola, it depends. I use not pure vegetable oil. So you put vegetable oil there with the pepper, ginger, and garlic with one bowl of onions. Then I put roasted garlic. This is roasted garlic. Don't know my mother, I don't believe that. In like so I put roasted garlic in little that all that that then I put black pepper then all that then I blend them I put out the oven I just put the oven and that is it. it it was just ready so food already like I don't cook straight nobody to eat even just me alone my husband already take it on chop it's better near over yeah my husband chop me like meat and fish and all that like I like empty meat so I don't cook so now only me no man not there for kind chop with you so now I'm gonna be saving my own self let me see all the comments. It's making me today is fun time. Thanks for the explanation. I beg, make arrange my room so that when I chop, I just leave. I beg, make arrange. Yes, so room not lack. Room the day where I reach. Hey, poor, yeah, bouillon, they good. Yeah, bouillon, yeah, it did good. Now I'm going to have the user. And the user, bouillon, my brother, it did like. We use bouillon for it, it replace the place of all that other seasoning the way that that will work that are spices and just fun for you know. So I use the bouillon, you know. Hi YouTube guys, hi YouTube fan. Uh, sorry, I've been concentrating too much on my Facebook, but I know I already shared the beginning with you guys. We're gonna be dropping YouTube off and we're gonna be leaving Facebook on. YouTube is over. Okay. So now we're gonna split this dish. When I plate it, I'm gonna be putting it off then. But right now we're gonna be plating. Do about dish now the chop now. I'll plate my own. You know? So now do plate you now. Are you okay? We're gonna be putting it right. So now now me I want chop. Okay. I want chop rice. So we're gonna be plating this food, guys. So like I said, I have this rice that I'm boiled. It's boiled rice, but I make it to be like in form of giraff. Yes, it's not giraff rice. It's just, I just put the bouillon seasoning. I put curry because I wanted it to have color and curry flavor also. So I put curry and salt. That's all. And if you chop the rice like that because it already tastes and it looks good. But I don't want to eat it like that. I'm eating it with stew. Because it's not giraff rice that I make. It just it looks like. Look how good it tastes. So that's, 
I did chop both. Man, I said that's enough. Yeah, this one is enough. I will chop mostly meat. Man, no cap capacity. Cap yeah, that's pretty much shit, guys. So I have the rice put there. So now I'm gonna be putting my chicken, guys. One. They're still worried, guys. It tastes well, well. You know, guys, we don't still we know I chop the kind of sweet chicken. You only chop it that fertilizer chicken. The very they say fine. I go buy chicken. I buy. Ah, ah, so now wait to this. I see chicken. Anytime I buy chicken, I cook you. I need like the chicken. I'm really, I'm not really liking it. I, I start being mad. I start, I start complaining. Like my husband started laughing. I'm telling me that oh, okay, I got you. You like the chicken. The strong one. I see the mommy just complained. Say that one is strong. I see the strong. That one wants something strong. That's what we want. You know. I see with the strong. I think that way is the wood like that. Yeah. It's strong that we cook and we go cook it up. And you go get it. So you go buy some chicken and chop up no taste. Right now, taste less. For them, they keep themselves to the fine. I don't want shit. That's fine. Who will not go to the camera? Who will come here? Because African man don't know. Any African man or no way to talk. They relate. African, not even black American because they don't know nothing. The African, they will understand. They will relate to what I'm saying. You know? They will relate to what I'm saying. Like when I cook as I see ordinary things then if I not touch them first before I finish one and me. I don't really leave this in the way that they did the wipe. Let me put my rice. Okay guys, so I have my rice and chicken actually served. I was supposed to fight the plantain like I said, but I'm so tired I'm not gonna do that and I don't need it anymore. So this is enough. So this is actually my plating. I'm done with the rice and stew. This is actually it. This is actually it. This is my presentation. YouTube guys, are you seeing? <coughs> YouTube. This is actually it. Rice and stew. It's just simple. Plain. It's not like kind of too like I can design it, I can put a lot of other stuff, but this is what I cooked today, so I just give it the way it is. Okay, thank you all guys for watching. That is a stay tuned, time to eat. Love you all, stay tuned. You wanna watch my channel and help your girl, subscribe to my channel and also share my video. I would appreciate it. One man is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time to end my life. Thank you all for watching. Love you all.